Okay, and we're recording. We're all set up. Everything seems to be fine. So welcome, everybody. Today, we're going to be playing Pokemon Dawn. We're just about all set up for this. This is the sequel to Pokemon Dusk, which is a game I recently did a full playthrough of. It's a spooky little Pokemon fan game, so everybody should get comfy. Get yourself a snack, because it's real spooky hours now. Say goodbye to the teddy screen. Oh, I felt like I was about to sneeze there. Make sure the controller is working. And let's hit new game. Please make sure to get the fonts in. Don't worry, I did that. Normal mode. Hardcore mode limits your saves. Ooh, that's a bit loud. Title screen was quiet. And then suddenly we're blasted by red and blue meaty. March 11th, 2000. So this is the famous Elm Pokemon Lab. So this game takes place at the same time as Pokemon Dusk, but it is the second game in the series. Hold up. This meaty trumpet is blasting my ears right here. Let me just adjust this. I'm always happy to see new Pokemon trainers who start their new adventure. I'm sure his purposefulness will get him far. If you say so, Professor Elm. The girl's gonna visit the lab in a few days. I'll give her a Chikorita we still got here. I'm really excited how she's doing after she's received her first Pokemon. But that can wait. Let's wait until Ethan comes back from Mr. Pokemon. I wonder what he's found this time. He wrote that he found something big, so maybe some fossil? Or even a new Pokemon species? Can't wait for it. Uh-oh. For God's sake, what's going on here? Man. The meaty in these Pokemon horror games is amazing. I love it. What does it look like? Don't be worried. I'll get out of here ASAP. But before I do... Oh no. I already made a choice. I'll take this one. Question mark took Totodile. Stop it! You can't just steal a Pokemon. He just did. It's my choice if I'm stealing a Pokemon or not. Don't interfere, old man. This time I'll get through the door. Probably more comfortable than the window. Don't you try to stop me. I've got connections to Team Rocket. That wouldn't be good for you. Okay, just left out the door. Quick. Call the police. I will inform Ethan about this. Yeah, in this game, you play as, uh, the Heart Gold Soul Silver ri uh, rival. March 18th, 2000. Checking out. We're on the SSN. Ha! 5,000 polka dollars for that stupid ferry ticket. We would be already be in Kanto if we had used the train and Goldenrod. But the police and Goldenrod are after me. That would have been too risky. But I don't like to travel in that piece of crap. Toto. Toto dial. Ship doesn't move anymore. We've been here for hours. What's going on here? Totodile. Toto. You wonder why I stole you from the lab and why I want to reach Kano so badly? Dial. Totodile. Totodile. Toto. A lot of reading in this game. That's right. Hang on. Let me hydrate. All right. I gotta explain something in the first place. My father, he is a big boss of an infamous organization. When I say infamous, then I mean he's the boss of Team Rocket. At least, he was, before he vanished. I don't even know what happened to him. I wonder if there's like a game that lets you play as Silver in like Heart Gold Soul Silver or uh, Gen 2 GSC. Kind of like that Wally ROM hack I played. That'd be kind of cool. Some people say that he terminated Team Rocket. And some other people say that he vanished to create new plans for Team Rocket. I don't even care. Team Rocket's full of idiots. My father was the only one with skills. So, been two years since he vanished. Hadn't heard anything from him since. Until he sent me some present for my 17th birthday. Package contained a Poke Gear. That's it. 
No greeting card, no message at all. Not even a call from him. Thank you so much, Dad. And his mobile phone is permanently off. Try to call him very often. Last known place he was seen was the gym of Iridian City. And now we're headed there. That's why I took you from the lab. So, why should I even catch another Pokemon? I only need one strong Pokemon that comes along with me on my journey. No more, no less. I'm not even an official trainer. Hello, Mina. Thank you for the raid. I really appreciate it. We just started with the spooky game. Toto. Toto dropping the real facts right now. He's just dumping everything on this poor Totodile. First, the Totodile gets stolen, and now we gotta put up with this. Hmm. Totodile. Toto? I'm just thinking about your name. Some Pokemon trainers give their Pokemon a nickname. Personally, I think that Totodile's too long. You need a real name. A name that contains power. Toto. Toto Totodile. So what about... Dragon? Sounds powerful to me. Toto? Not dragon? How about... Killer? Our enemies would shiver when they hear that name. Toto. So, which name could match? You are some sort of reptile. Crocodile? Croco? How about Croc? Pretty short, accurate, and should match to you. Totodile, Totodile, Totodile. Good. From now on, your new name is Croc. Toto Toto. Just a reminder that this game is originally made in German, so if the wording seems a little bit weird, it's because it's translated from that. What's going on here? We don't get any further. I already wanted to be in Kanto right now. Heard rumors that a lot of people got sick on board. Even half the crew got sick. I think this might take a while. But the captain said we'll be moving very soon. Man, I want to start a shopping tour of Celadon City today, but I can totally forget about that. When Totodile said Toto, I felt that. Absolutely. It won't help if we're lingering around here. Let's get back to our uh, cabin. Cabine? Cabine? I don't know. Everybody get comfy. Intro's a little long, but... We're coming up to real spooky hours. Hmm. We finally reached Vermilion City. Took long enough. Come on, Croc. Let's get off the ship. Toto Dial. Yeah. If you haven't... I don't think you absolutely need to have seen Pokemon Dusk, but it, it's cool to watch that one first, for sure. But we're gonna get comfy. We're gonna have a good time. I've really been in... Oh. Well, that was a funny scream. <laughs> it's been like six years since I played this, haven't it? Just like with Dusk. What the? What the F is going on here? What the fluff is going on? It's in that hissing. The mixing, just like the last game, is also all over the place. The spooky playthroughs have been some of my favorite streams lately. I'm looking forward to it. What the hell is he doing? Is this guy insane or what? Oh, no. Hey, you. We gotta get off the ship. Don't ask. Come. Let's run. Whoa, okay, hang on a second. It's playing a vocal track. Let me just mute that right quick so I can actually upload this. I'm not entirely sure if the vocal tracks are made by, like, the dev Mr. Prinz, or if they're, like, um, from a random artist that will probably claim the video, just to be safe. Okay, turn it back on. But a lot of the soundtrack is, like, MIDI files from, like, good old VG music. Heck, what's going on here? Oh man, I also want to know. Those people on the ship, they become crazy. This massacre happened. What is this music? I recognize this. It's like, I know it uses a bunch of meaty files from random horror games, but I feel like I've heard this one. I only survived this massacre because I locked myself in the cabin before I ran out of there. 
Do you think this has any relation to the people who became sick on board? A disease? I don't think that this disease turns people into human-eating psychos. They were just insane. Yeah. Damn. They're on the shore now. Yeah. Watch them through the window, and people escape from the ship. Those psychos hunted them. Once they get you, they won't go off. Words don't help here. Saw them devouring other people. Okay. I'll tell you something. They will never get me. Hmm. Listen. I got a house in Vermilion City. It's over there. The one with the green roof. Let's head there fast. We should be safe there. I don't want to be outside any longer. Hmm. You say so. My name's Simon, by the way. I'm Drake. That's not important. I'll be gone in a while. Okay, Drake, follow me. Come along, little Toto friend. Toto Doll is too happy to be with, like, uh, Drake here. What's the origin of the name Drake? Because they used Ethan for Ethan, of course. But, uh, for Silver, they're using, um... They're using Drake. I wonder if it's one of the default names in, like, the German version or something? Oh, poop, poop, poop! That's one of them! Yeah, expected that. He's got blood all over his face. Hey. You. Ass. Stay still. Watch the potty mouth. YouTube is not the same as it was six years ago. Hey! D do something! Let me turn it up again. This idiot doesn't understand anything! Shut up. I just want to see if he does react. But now I'm sure he's one of those psychos. Croc, your turn. Totodile. Press the A key to use the physical attack, Scratch. When the enemy is close, press A to hit the enemy with Scratch. The successful hit will throw the enemy back. If your hit fails, the enemy is going to attack you and Croc will lose some HP. Press the S key to use Water Gun. You can hit enemies with Water Gun from a distance, but using Water Gun won't knock back your enemies. Be careful, you can only use attacks one after another. The attacks only work if the blue PP bar is full, which you can see on the right top corner of the display. You can also see your HP there, or just open the menu Pokemon when pressing the escape key. The HP reaches zero, Croc will die, and the game is over. Drake, come on, do something! He's getting closer! Yeah, yeah, be silent. Croc, tack. Whoa! <coughs> That's cool. His randomness put him in a weird spot where he just bumped into me. Of course he went south right away. That's it. He was stupid enough to fight me. Good work, Croc. Wow. Let's go to my house now. He's just scared of some stupid dumbasses. Unfortunately, it, because the enemies are programmed to do that like random RPG ma maker movement, um, they kind of just move in a way where you're going to get hit anyway when you need to hit them, so you just have to deal with it. Also, listen to this. Resident Evil 3 save room theme. Even as a midi, it sounds great. I just, re I just replayed Resident Evil 3 too. It's such a good track. You, here we are. Pretty cool, hmm? Best gift for my 19th birthday. Pretty okay, I'd say. Perfect place to rest if you have a stressed day. I was in Goldenrod City for a music session with a friend of mine. And after the session, I was like, yeah, let's relax in the SSN. Then this happened. You're talking too much. Poop happens. So this game has a karma system. Depending on how many times you press the red option or the blue option, you get like a different, um... You get like a different ending. I'm going for good karma ending. Creator has said that this one's meant to be a prequel. Okay. I guess, what day did, um, Dusk happen? I think it was March 21st? Because it said March 18th when, um, when it showed me on the SSN. So let's be a good woman. Mostly because I'm pretty, I pretty am sure the, the bad karma ending is unsatisfying as hell anyway. So, poop happens. 
We're gonna see all of them eventually. Yeah, I was thinking the same. Yep, yeah, look at that karma meter up there. Drake has sometimes the opportunity to select between some actions. These decisions affect his karma. Drake's karma can be good, neutral, or bad. The interactions with other survivors in the plot will vary with Drake's karma. Yeah, different, like, the ultimate ending is different, but different, like, things can happen along the way depending on your karma. So who knows, maybe it might be worth to do a hardcore <laughs> bad karma run. So, I'm gonna turn on the radio. Let's see what they have to say about those psychos. But I want to be a good woman. I did like a try to do like a tongue click, but it, I realized it was radio static and it didn't like suit that at all. I thought it was like Drake being like, whatever, dude. Static, static. Is the broadcast in Kanto offline? Can't receive any radio station. Let's see if there's broadcasting online in Johto. Um, just like with the Dusk playthrough, Miner's gonna help set up- set it up so I can view all the endings once we're done. That'll probably be at the end of the upload. Here. Oh, by the way, I should mention right quick. Um, the remaster for Pokemon Dusk actually has a bonus small extra episode of Pokemon Dawn. Because this game doesn't have a remaster, so we are going to look at that at the end of this playthrough as well. So there will be new content, technically. Ah, there. Here, the breaking news. We're reporting live from Goldenrod City, where some terrible disease has spread out a few days ago. This disease turns humans and Pokemon into murdering creatures. It is recommended to avoid the contact with those infected all the time. Fight those infected only with caution. It is now known that this infection can be transferred if someone gets bitten by an infected. Being bitten even once is already enough. You hear that broadcast? Please take care of yourselves. That was DJ Ben with the breaking news, live from Goldenrod City. And for all those who hear the radio show from Goldenrod City, we are in the radio tower. It's safe here. We have food and protection. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, don't go. You don't go there, peeps. Come to the radio tower if you have the chance. In Goldenrod City? Wait. This disease has spread out in Goldenrod City? Didn't you just say that you've been there a few days ago? Huh. Yeah. But there was no hell on earth like the radio m moderator mentioned. I think there was some weird murders. That's what my buddy said. But the police took care of that matter. That's what I thought. Uh, that's why I thought that wouldn't be a problem. Hope my buddy in Goldenrod City is fine. Those infected are now in Vermilion City. You want to stay for too long anyway. What now, Drake? Any suggestions? Why are you asking me? I've made. I have my own destination, and my next step is to get the hell out of here as soon as possible. Ha! Got it. Those infected are only here in Vermilion City. Vermilion City is a good hub to travel through Kanto. What are you talking about? We just escaped from the city together. Think about that one. We have a lot of opportunities to leave Vermilion City. We could go to Saffron City or through the Underground Path or try Cerulean City, Route 11 to Lavender Town, or even go through Diglett's Cave to Viridian City. The last one sounds interesting. All right, so... So what? Would you please go outside and find out which path we could take to escape? <laughs> nope, dear friend. This doesn't work this way. You come with us. What? Are you crazy? Am I looking like some karate ninja? I can't defend myself. I'm glad that my weight is barely 154 pounds. I'm just too thin. I don't want to go outside, please. Come on. I mean, I brought us here to my safe house, right? Did you just sneak a peek and come back here, yeah? It won't take too long, I'm sure. I'll be waiting for you until you're back. <sighs> Alright. Perfect. In case you forgot, 
take a look on Route 6 if we can go to Saffron City or Cerulean City. Of course, you can also consider Diglett's Cave to reach Viridian City. Or, if we can go through Route 11 to Lavender Town. Alright, I'll be back soon. And, hey, be careful, Drake. Don't be worried. No one can mess with Croc and me. Okay, so about 20 minutes into the game and I can finally control myself and make a save. There aren't any other saves here, right? Nope, okay. Perfect. So, Totodile's at, at a 18 out of 20. If Dusk was any indication, things should go a lot more smoother with a controller. And I can account for uh, Water Gun probably going through enemies like the Ember did for Quilava. If I, if I just hoard my items for the end of the game, I should be fine. Let's take a look around. Slot Machine. Why did he buy this useless piece of junk? That loser of a radio moderator said we should avoid the infected. Nobody can beat me. Some expensive sound system. I'd steal it if it wasn't in that damn circumstance. A lot of energy drinks in here. Bullcrap. Hot plate in the stove. A sink. Nothing special. Take a look in Route 6. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, same dealio. Toolbox with some tools. Okay. Hang on a second. The, um... Audio is just a tad loud again now that we're out of there, so... Okay. Let's do this. Something I remember about this game is the map in this game is a lot more open, so it's easier to attack enemies, for sure. Locked. Way easier to actually attack things. Goldenrod is just too, like, narrow. Also, you can't water gun over the water, which is annoying as hell. Come on. Let's go. It's best to clear out the zombies as soon as possible. Oh, the water gun went through them. I told you that would happen. Hang on. Locked. So we just gotta look around. Squish, squish, squish the little baby there. Door is electrically locked. Can't even lockpick it. The people of Saffron were smart enough to lock the doors before the infected could enter. Watch out for all the Pokemon friends running around. Locked. Damn it. That's effed up. Potty mouth, Drake. Why you gotta talk like that? Why you gotta be a bad little moomin? Oh. Hang on. Great. Of course the path to Viridian City is blocked. Seems like the Diglett's Cave collapsed. Heck. And this area looks quite different. Oh, hang on. Bulbasaur! No! Come on. There we go. Come on. There we go. Got him. That's separated from Drake for a moment there. No other zombies. Is that... Is this a heckin' joke? The path has been teared apart. How could this even happen? Damn it. We'll get through here. Stuck. We can't cut that down. Can we? Nope. How can he even see? He got separated from me. When I'm outside, I'm controlling the Toto. But he follows behind like a good woman. Bad news. Escape plan doesn't work. For now, at least. Huh? What is the meaning of this? What's the meaning of this? Every way out is blocked. We are trapped. Trapped in Vermilion City. That's the meaning of this. And there are a lot of infected out there. Trapped? With those sick people? Oh no! I didn't expect that. Yeah. What now, genius? Oh man, I don't know. We stay in here and wait till it's over? How about that? Wait? For how long? I don't like that plan. It just it drags just everything out for me. Chill, man. Perhaps everything's over in a few days. A few days, you say? I mean, can we even survive in your 
barrack here? Do you have any supplies here? I, I got some energy drinks here in the fridge. Gross. I never store any food in my house. I usually just order my food. I'm too often out of town. That's why I never store food. Well, we got no opportunity to escape. That's why we have to consider to obtain food. We got enough to drink, though. I will drink that energy crap if I really have to. Do you really want to know what's on my mind right now? What? The people. I mean, how they're doing here in Vermilion City. If all the ways are blocked, then we are not the only survivors in this town. Screw other people. What do you mean? What do you mean, other people? Some friends of mine, here in Vermilion City. I'm sure they're still here and alive. And we should bring them to my place. Yeah, Blue Karma. Think about it. We would improve our chances to survive. And we could share work. And the consumption would raise as well. But we could handle this, somehow. What if those people are already in a safe house like this? I think it'd be better to leave them alone in that case. There is no house that that's as safe as mine. Except the Pokemon Gym, but that's something different. So, your house is safe, says who? Have you no noticed my equipment here? Do you know how expensive my equipment is? My house is safe against burglary. Unbreakable glass, massive door, and no ventilation shafts to sneak in or something. We're here. We're safe here. And I want my friends to be safe, too. You're going to annoy me with this until I fa find your friends, right? But the part about the shared work sounds advantageous. Okay, fine. Where do I find your bunch? One of my friends lives next to the Pokemon Center. His name is Lucas, and I don't think his house could stand an apocalypse. I got a substitute key he gave to me, because he's always so forgetful. Drake received Lucas's key from Simon. You can open his house door with it. Hope he's fine. After I found and evacuated him, you'll stop that moaning, yeah? Do I look like some guy that has only one friend on Earth? There are more outside. We can expose those people to that... Or we can expose those people to that kind of threat. Worded very strangely, so I just read it weird. Everything's gonna be normal soon. I'm, I'm sure of it. Firstly, I'll take care of that Lucas guy. We'll see what happens after that. Okay. Like I told you, his house is next to the Pokemon Center. By the way, I think I got something useful for your Pokemon in my fridge. Take a look. Thanks for your help. Drake found a berry. A lot of energy drinks in here. Bullcrap. I'm sure Surge is probably super safe with those electric fences. Locked. Door unlocked. Drake discarded Lucas's key. Uh, what is this? This music... It sounds like the track that plays as you're entering the first level in Castlevania 4. I think it is. No, please, what else do you want? I don't have anything left. Huh? What are you talking about? Wait a sec. Who are you? I'm the guy who's supposed to get you out of here. Oh, thank God. Yes, I'm Lucas. Who sent you to, if I may ask? Your friend and lover, Simon. Oh, Simon. You. What are you talking about? Did you, did you say lover? Just fooling you around. <laughs> what happened here? Or does your house always look like this? I... I got mugged. When this chaos happened, some people broke into my house and robbed me. I don't know if this was some sort of gang who did this, but I was effing scared, man. Oh, great. Just another whiner. God, chill out, Drake. What is your problem, dude? All right, come on. We don't have much time. The world's falling apart. He just got robbed, almost killed, and Drake's just... Man, could you stop whining? Like, bro, that's annoying to me right now. I'll evacuate you to Simon's house. Hold on a sec. Is Christopher with you? Who's that? Another friend of Simon and me. Well, would it be possible to help him too? Firstly, I'll bring you back to Simon's house. 
You can keep moaning about your friend when you're safe. Alright. Lucas joins the party. It's possible to rescue certain survivors. You have to lead the survivors back to the safe house. You can see the health bar of the survi- Mm, mm, pardon me, hiccups. Sir, uh, health is of the survivor on the bright bottom of the screen. Blah, 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 blah. I can't talk today. If Croc takes damage, the survivor will take the amount of damage as well. The game is over if the HP of the actual survivor reaches zero. So be careful. There's no opportunity to restore our survivor's health. Um, okay. I'm ready. Perfectly dark outside. Books and uninteresting things. Books and uninteresting things. TV. I think there's no broadcast at the moment. Normal PC. It's off. Shelf's empty. Someone took all the stuff. Coffee machine. Hate coffee. Some hot plates in the stove. Someone did a good job here. Can't check anything else. Trash. Enemies. Damn. That was unfortunate. The whooper coming at the side there, I had to move and I pretty much pretty much have to get hit when you have to position yourself sometimes. Whatever. We're back to the safe room. Simon. Wow. I've never been so glad to see you. Hey, you alright? What happened? I can tell you one thing. I've seen a lot of shit. Ah. I was on the ship where this crap started. Oh. You were on the SS Anne? Yeah. But shouldn't have done that if you ask me. Are you done yet? Enough of your chit chat. You can talk later. Lucas told me something about another friend. Yeah. Christopher. I had hoped that he was with you. No. Haven't seen him for a couple days. Damn. I think I've done. I think I'm done. I risk enough for you. Get another one out of his house? Nope. You can do this on your own. Yeah, but... Shut up. <laughs> what else? Yeah? What? More karma for me. Like a good little teddy. Christopher is a paramedic. If you want to stay here for a few days, then we need some medical attention. Sooner or later. Think about your totodile. Consider about its health. I gotta admit that this is right. Okay. Where do I find him? He lives next to the Pokemon fan club. I hope he'll open the door for you. Wait, I've got a better idea. I got his key on my key ring. While he was on vacation, he gave me his key to take care of his plants. Here. Drake received Christopher's key from Lucas. Hope he's at home and won't be too scared if you show up. Fine. I'm going for that paramedic. Really hope for you that this is worthwhile. Let's make another save. You'd probably need a vet. Now, what music is this? I'm never going to be able to pinpoint this. Door unlocked. Oh, now what's this melody? Everything sounds so familiar, but I can't put my finger on it. Hmm. Ah, who are you guys? How'd you get in here? Don't piss yourself. Are you Christopher? If it's so, your friends Simon and Lucas were worried about you. Yeah, I'm Christopher. Are they alright? Where are they now? Yeah, they're fine. They're in Simon's house. They told me you were some kind of paramedic. Are you? Y yeah, that's right. Good. We need medical treatment. What do you mean? What I mean? Did you take a look outside the window? Hell on Earth. Whether we like it or not, we gotta stay in Simon's house for a few days. And you would be useful as a paramedic. Okay, can you explain what's going on outside? What happened to the people that look so ill? 
I locked myself in here and wanted to wait till everything was over. Your two buddies will explain it later to you. I got better things to do. But I got a question. You got any groceries here that we could take with us? Unfortunately, no. I just came back from vacation and got no time to buy food. I have a lot of things to do as a paramedic. I, I just had no time, man. And I won't buy that frozen food crap. That's so unhealthy. Now's not the time to really care. Well, whatever. I'll bring you to Simon's house. Stay close. Roger. Christopher joined the party. Oh, there's gonna be enemies right outside, aren't they? Trash. Normal PC. It's off. TV. Nope, guess they don't broadcast anything yet. Some hot plates in the stove. A sink, nothing special. Average radio, nothing worthwhile. Nothing to pick up. Okay. Let's take you out. We're just gonna run all the way up here. Take the fight over here. Just run outside of town while that zombie chases me. Come on. Dude, you're stuck? I walked on the door tile. Damn it. Come on. I hear that zombie moaning. There we go. Got it. They're moving towards me with a, t a little bit of randomness, and that is like the most infuriating thing sometimes. Everything's been killed. Back to RE3 theme. Whoa, hey folks. You're fine. Makes me happy. According to circumstances, yeah. What the hell's going on outside? The doom of the whole city. So, you also don't know what kind of infection this is. Infection? A disease? I knew it. I thought you'd know more about it. Yeah, not wondering that that... I'm not wondering that he doesn't know. Everything started on the ship. The moment of the breakout was a few hours ago. Didn't you hear what they said on the radio? Oh no, couldn't receive any broadcast. If you get bitten by those psychos, even once, you'll turn into one of them. Ever heard of that? No. No. Haven't heard that. Until now. Ahem. Put back the chit-chat. There are some certain things that are more important. I want to get through this situation as soon as possible. But we'll be stuck here for a few days, unfortunately. Christopher was your name, right? I don't even care. I brought you here because those two said you're a paramedic. My Pokemon needs a good medical treatment. It has to be fit as good as possible if I'm supposed to bring you the food supplies. When I leave here in a few days, I expect it has its full strength back. Ha! Do I look like some guy who's got magical hands? Of course I'd like to take care of your Totodile. But we got a lack of medical resources, you understand? I got nothing here, and nothing at home, not even a first aid kit. Hmm. But I got an idea. You really need my medical attention. Come back to me later. We'll find a solution. I'm glad you're fine now. Do this together. Yeah, for sure. We did a lot of things together back then. It always worked somehow. I have to throw up when I hear such euphoria. <laughs> what? What a weird way to phrase that. And a big thank you to Drake. This wouldn't be possible without you. Yeah. Whatever. But, I think there are a lot more things to do. And with we, you mean me, right? Come on, Drake. Don't be like that. We all do it together. Proc and I were the only ones who were outside so far. And we're really grateful for that, really. Hopefully a lot more grateful than the other survivor group. So, you really want to get the medical supplies, talk to Chris Christopher. You and I should focus on the food supplies. 
Hey. Have you noticed that Lucas seems to be a little thoughtful? I wonder if what he's thinking about. Oh, God. I hope the next days will pass fast. Um. Hi, Drake. Hello. I know you got a lot of things to do, and that you're very busy, but there's something that's spinning in my mind the whole time. Mm-hmm. Okay. Keep thinking about it. Got a lot of work to do. Bye. Just stop. Please. What? Please listen. I, I, it could be worth it. I'm all ears. I let my Persian out of my house this morning, before the disaster started. I haven't seen it again since the disease spread out. I don't know. I mean, my Persian can take care of itself. But I'm still worried about it. Yay. Uh, Drake is just the dev's choice in name. Silver is still the default name. Okay, in German. Okay, I was just curious about that. Maybe Silver seemed weird because Ethan is called Ethan instead of Gold now. I don't know. Weird stuff. I think it doesn't know that I'm not at home anymore. I'll be fine. Drake, please? What do you expect from me that I'm looking for a damn cat that ran off? Hey, at last, at least it's my Pokemon. Listen, the effort's gonna be worth it. My Persian was has something in its collar which could be useful to you. Ah. You find my Persian, I could give this useful thing to you. So please, find my Persian, please. I'll take a look. Alright, if it's really worthwhile. Where is that brute? Oh, you're doing it? Really? Uh, thanks. Thank you. My Persian usually plays around Route 6. Look, if it's there. Thanks, Drake. Really, I'm so grateful. Yeah, yeah. I'll take a look by chance. Make a save, and let's go. Any more Zombos around? No, I've killed most of them. Uh-oh. Ah, damn it! It's a lot more open here, so I can take the... I can take the rain shots. Problem is, the movement is weird. I took an extra hit, 16 out of 20. I'll be fine. The game... I, I should be able to use as many heals as possible. Said Route 6. The footprints end here. Is that Persian here? Did it go somewhere else? Yeah, I guess we look elsewhere. I know that one of the overworld themes in this game is actually like the clock tower theme. Like the one that plays before like Scissorman starts chasing you around. Um, hold up a sec. Oh yeah, there is more here. Just show up. Again? I still can't see that Persian. Where is it? Is it like... Nope, not down there. Over this way now? Uh-oh. Bellsprout! Watch out, number 69 himself is coming. Come on, bro. Damn it, got stuck on that. Seriously? Bro. Are they, like, moving faster than, like, the last game? Because I can't even scratch them half the time. They hit me before that goes through. Well, I took my damage. It's gonna be how it is. Anyways, I was looking for the footprints. Did any show up here? Yeah, they're they did. This cat is kidding me. Where is this goddamn little beast? Let's go. Everything's just faster. Now there's footprints here. Hey! There it is. I can fire during the cutscene. I see. It looks like things were like 10% faster than Dusk in this game. Really? Oh no, you're joking. Okay. I can't tell. I see. When it was playing around, it was likely being attacked from the infected. It frequently tried to find another hideout after the assault, but it didn't make it. It's been infected. Careful. It's attacking us. <laughs> Pfft. 
Really? Of course. I'm just, every time I try and scratch anything in this game, I just trade damage now. That's so lame. I'm just taking hits. Did that one left forward, too. You didn't find my Persian, did you? I found it, but it didn't survive. What do you say? My, my cute Persian, dead? That, that must be a mistake. Sob. <laughs> Don't fucking cry, dude. Stay strong. Listen, Lucas. Don't drag yourself down now. Think about your friends. We all want to come through this bad situation. You understand? Here. I took the collar from your Persian. Drake gives Lucas the collar. Persian. I had it since it was a little Meowth. But you're right. You should think about it. For now. Here. Have this. It was in the collar. Drake received potion from Lucas. I think I need some time alone. More karma added. Hey, Drake. Hope everything's soon over. I just want to go home. Okay, let's get the medical stuff now, because clearly I might need that. So, about the medical supplies. I can heal your totodile. No prob- no problema. Still, I need medical supplies. And I don't have any here, nor in my house. But the Pokemon Center recently received some medical supplies. The Pokemon Center? What do you think happened to it? Oh, don't know. I really don't want to think about what might happen. Yeah, I don't think the Pokemon Center is well protected against an apocalypse. But if the Pokemon Center is still fine, then you could ask Nurse Joy for some medical supplies. Hey, I have an idea. Nurse Joy could join us. She's much better at handling with the supplies. Sounds good to me. What if more survivors are in there? This house is already full. Hmm. Right. And just go in and ask if you could get some supplies. Shouldn't be a problem. So, would you get us the medical supplies? I'll get them. Yep, I'll get them. Question is, how do I get in there? Oh, super. So, uh, I got... Uh, some key in my house. It's hidden in a bookshelf. You can open the Pokemon Center with that key. Fortunately, the center management gave me that center key a while ago. Understood. I'll be right back. Why would you have that? That doesn't really make sense. Let's go have a look. No one seems to be around. Locked. Oh, right. I gotta go in Christopher's house first. He literally just said that. A normal PC. No, he said bookshelf. What am I checking that for, too? Key must be in here. Got it. Center key. Let's see what's going on in the Pokemon Center. Anybody gonna pop out? Okay, good. It's safe for me to just kind of grab a drink here. Oh, boy. Needed that. Door unlocked. So much reading in this game, so... Oh, no! She's gonna... Oh, thank goodness she kept... I was worried she was gonna go around and hit me from the top, because I can't turn without moving. Seems like nobody survived that assault. Oh, what's this melody? So many of these seem familiar. Center PC. Even if it was on, I wouldn't hit be useful, because I don't have any other Pokemon. Is everything okay up here? Oh, I see medical supplies. Found medical supply. There's some exchange symbol on the sign. No use for us. The center PC, same dealio. Some battle statistics, uninteresting. Sign in the door says versus. Probably some battle room for trainers. Locked. Wonder what kind of machine this is. No one's getting up? S stop Please wait! Oh, shoot! Please! Help me! It hurts! It hurts so much! 
there in this medical box. There are some painkillers. Give me this medical supply box. I give you one. Great. It's one of those games where being the good guy puts you at a disadvantage. Here, have one. Drake gives this guy a medical supply box. Thanks. It doesn't hurt anymore. You could give it back. I could just take it back now. No, I'm just gonna throw the rest of that entire box away, because he needed to, like, take two little candy tablets. Hang on. I should do a quick check to see if more zombies spawn, because killing them before more pop in would be beneficial. The body is piling up as the game goes on. It's a nice touch. Let's have a look. Hmm. He got his grubby dead fingerprints on it. We don't want it now. Oh, that's right. A sick person, like, touched it. We don't want it. We don't want to put our hands on that. That'd be kind of gross. Nothing else here. So I guess I lose out on a free heal, but whatever. Oh. You already back? Seems like I am, hmm? Have you been successful? Yeah. So how's it looking at the center? Everyone safe? No. The people in the center weren't prepared. The infected overran it. Oh my god. This can't be true. Is everyone dead? Yeah. Here. The supplies. Okay. Drake gave Christopher the medical supplies. Good, good, but there weren't not- weren't there not more medical supplies? Only two? I lost one when we made my way back. Whatever. Better than nothing. Alright. I can heal your totodile up to two times now. Come back to me if you need my help. Okay. We're gonna keep hoarding all of our <clears throat> consumables. And we'll use those max heals when we really, really need it. Okay, let's make a save. So, about the food supplies. I don't exactly know where we can find some food, but I have two ideas. The Pokemart could have some stuff to eat, or the SSN ship. The SSN? Did you just become... Mmm, Drake! Come on now! <laughs> Translation's a little... Very 2016-15, ain't it? Do you think I really want to go back to that ship? <laughs> You've seen what's going on there. Pokemart, then. There's no other possibility. Listen, the Pokemart usually sells some trainer stuff, but sometimes they sell snacks for trainers. Oh boy. They got some tasty bars in there. Whatever. It's the only thing we could try. Hmm. Okay. You got a key or something for the Pokemart? Um, unfortunately, no. Why should I have a have a mark key? No problem. I'll just crush the window of the Pokemart and break in. Pokemarts usually have weak windows. How do you know that? Never mind. Nothing, n nothing of your business. I'm gonna risk my ass for this again. I'll take a look. I'll be right back. Maybe there should be a grocery store, but there just normally isn't one in Vermilion City, so... Locked. You should smash the window from the opposite side of the house. Back window? Croc. Your part. Break the window. Toto! Okay. Crap. Oh, that's so bad. This is a bad layout for this. Cool game! Mm. That is so bad, dude. 
Should I just reload? That was bad. <laughs> that was really bad. Hold up. Can I go back to the title screen from this? Okay, good. I'm reloading after that crap. Like, he just, like, walked in front of me and then immediately walked back, so it wouldn't register my hit on him. Rock, your part. There's no room to really back away. There we go. That's what's supposed to happen. But if the AI or randomness decides to walk backwards, I end up getting, like, hit, and um, my hit doesn't register him, which is silly. <laughs> hmm. Seems like this place is empty. Everything's gone except this one. Sentry. Hey, hey, come back there. What the? A sentret? It wasn't infected. Quick, let's follow. Let's get out of here. After him, boys. Hold up, I should pop in and save again. Not losing all that health on that one, Mart. I'm absolutely reloading. Oh, great. More enemies. Come on. I don't even want to get close to enemies in this one. It was kind of safe to do, you know, like, uh, like the scratch attack in the Dusk Remaster, but here it feels like if I get close to an enemy, it's just RNG if it registers the hit or not. Come on. Okay, there we go. With enough water gun, your head just pops off. Or sometimes the water gun just goes through them, as you uh, noticed. It's just a silly little feature the game has called, uh, called you know... It's, it's accurate to Pokemon. Sometimes attacks just miss. You know, it's just trying to be authentic to the series. Mm. See that? Just a little authenticity right there. Seems like this Sentret has its hideout here. Let's head in. What's this music? Oh. I've recognized this. Oh, this is gonna drive me nuts. I've recognized like five different melodies so far and I can't pinpoint any of them. Hmm. Seems like the Sentret took the berry to feed its family. It's just a berry, but... <laughs> Take the berry? Or leave it. What do you think? This isn't a chat voting system, by the way. We're gonna be good moomins. Good moomins only. Leave it. It's just a berry. We don't need it that much. Come on. Let's leave them alone. Maybe they'll give me stuff later as payment, I hope. So, search for food supplies didn't work as expected. Let's go back for now. We were all good little beans today. Remember, if you're watching a spooky game right now, you are all legally required to get comfy and get a snack. Or else... Make a save again. So, you been successful? Nope. No food supplies there. Nothing at all. Oh, heck! That means... There's nothing left. The whole city is empty. We checked one building. Calm down. What now? I know exactly what you're thinking. The SSN. Please listen, Drake. Before you say something, most of the infected went off the ship when the people ran off of it. Doesn't make it any better. Yeah, but consider this. What if we wait here a few days without food? If this is all over, then you and your Pokemon would be too weak to keep moving. Unfortunately true. That ship's full of undead. Seems like I don't have a choice. Gotta go back to that horror ship. 
So, you really doing it? Yeah. Still doing that for me. Hmm, okay. Enough for me. So, about the ship. I had some lunch break in the ship's kitchen. They did some tasty meal. Yeah, I expected this anyway. Paid 5,000 poke dollars for that luxury. Whatever. Kitchen of the SSN should be full of food supplies. I think that should do for a while. The kitchen of the SSN could actually work. All right. I'll get the supplies. But this is the last time I risked my life for you. Yeah, okay. Good luck, Drake. I remember that um there was another Pokemon horror game that also had a ship, like the SSN. It was the sequel to Nightmare Invasion. Like, I played a two-hour demo of it, and I guess it's unfinished. Which just sucks, because that game was so cool. Nightmare Invasion was so cool, too. Dude, honestly, if more people just want to, like, put together Pokemon horror games with meaties and sprite assets, I'd love playing those. Uh-oh. Hang on. That meaty was quite loud, so let me just turn it down. Um, you know what? Something I should probably add to the playlist now that I think about it. Hold up. Let me focus on the zombie. Uh-oh. Let me get, get some distance. Okay. The audio is really turned up in here. Uh-oh. We need a key, though. Damn it! Okay. Hold up a sec. The audio is so loud in here. Let me just turn it down. Um, yeah, another game that was pretty cool. I can't remember the name of it. But, uh, Shade and the Discord made it. It was like a Yume Niki styled Pokemon game using Gen 1 assets. That one was actually a lot of fun. I should probably... Someone remind me later to add it to the Pokemon Horror Game playlist, because I started uh, putting that together, so people have more to watch if they're enjoying these playthroughs. Oh, dude, I'm so lucky he didn't hit me. Holy crap, finally he's dead. Dude, I got to lower my own headphone audio because I can't hear any- I can't even hear myself talk right now. Excellent. Hold up. I think the HP is, um, remembered, so let's see if this works. Come on. Come on. Okay, good, it does remember. Whooper! Hmm. Okay, I don't think Zargoth is still making games. I don't know. Um... I know about the game Sinners. Like, Mr. Prince is the dev for that one, right? Sinners is like a Game Boy-style style horror game. Essentially, like, you know, they wanted to make another one of these, but sell it on Steam so it's legally distinct without Pokemon. Trash. That's something I've been putting off for a while, honestly. I should play that. Okay, there's stuff there. There's a sailor, though. We know that the game remembers enemy HP, so let's just poke him and run out so I can avoid getting hit. Even though it looks like the movement is exactly the same as Dusk, it, like, for some reason, it's just weirdly unsafe to, um... Oh, great. Cool. Weirdly unsafe to even walk near an enemy. Kitchen key. Like, hmm. Be honest with me, chat. When you see the enemies hitting me, d does it look like it's my fault? Be honest. Oh, looks like somebody jumped off the ship there. It's okay, I'm a big boy. I can take it. Just like you'll be able to take getting banned if you disagree with me. Trash. Okay, kitchen key is acquired. Let's see... Sinners started as another Pokemon one, but then he scrubbed it of Nintendo's owned assets to sell it. You can still tell the origin, though. Okay, we should try that, though. It looks really random. Yeah, it is kind of feel that way. We should check the rooms as well for stuff. 
Totodile is at 11. <sighs> yeah. I'll keep hoarding my items this best I can. Door won't open. Lock from the inside. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I like the jank. It's... Oops, hang on. Gotta focus on this. Okay. This game is pretty fun. Like, I love these old-style, <laughs> crusty games. Maybe the translation's a little too edgy. Silver gonna watch her... Or sorry, Drake has to watch his potty mouth a little bit. Not just for YouTube, but he needs to be a good bean. The sprite's a little flickering there. Uh-oh. Trash. The mixing is also very much all over the place. It feels like every time I change areas, I have to just open up, um... I have to just adjust all the different sliders so I can hear the game and you guys don't have your eardrums, like, blown out by a jump scare. Oh, what's this? Trash. There's nothing on here. Oh, hey! Oh, what's this? There's a lot of entries to this diary. Should I read it? Diary of a Seaman. January 12th, 2000. After a long time of unemployment, I finally managed to get a new job. I'll be a seaman of the famous SS Anne. I'm already so excited, I'm, and I'm happy being part of such a big crew. January 17th, my first day at a new job. It was a hard day, but that's what I expected. I'm so done. I have to do the dirty jobs because I'm the new one, but I don't have any problem with that. That's it. I'm going to sleep. I don't have any energy to write anymore. January 20th, my fourth day in the SSN. My co-workers have the opinion that I don't belong to this crew. I find this pretty sad. Did I say something wrong? I'm doing the dirty jobs already, like scrubbing the deck. Hope I'll get some better job on the ship. January 28th, so it's weekend, but guess who has to stay on the ship for the whole weekend to clean up the storage place? Yes, me, damn it. But it's fine. I'm still new. They will accept me after a while, I hope. February 11th. I've been on the ship for almost one month. I'm still unwanted here. Why I think that I'm unwanted? Well, someone took my work clothing and has thrown them off the board. I begged the captain to give me some new work clothes, but he refused. I feel myself so unwanted here. February 19th. Doesn't get any better. Someone stole my wallet today. Great. Bunch of assholes. I'm applying for new jobs. I hope I'll find something new. March 6th. My application came back. Denials only. It's getting worse here. Gotta find a way out. My co-workers found out that I'm applying for new jobs. They have beaten me to the ground and told me no one wants a... Weenie like me after they found out. Someone should shoot those sons of beaties. <clears throat> Pardon me. March 10th. Last day, we're a little better. I avoided my co-workers as good as I can. I'm working in the storage room very often. This can't be a permanent condition. I'm always scared they could do something bad to me. March 12th, my co-workers accidentally dropped down my food tray while we had lunch break. Of course I didn't get a new one. I got enough, I should get some payback, but how? March 18th, I'm not writing down these lines because I'm desperate, heh <laughs> no. Some explanation? Here. I was working in the storage room today where a ratata appeared. Nothing unusual, but the ratata looked a little sick. It tried to attack me. But I could dodge and I killed it with an iron pipe. Then I had a brilliant idea. I cut that dead ratata into little pieces. The food was just prepared in the kitchen. The menus for the passengers and the crew are usually split. So I went to the kitchen and tossed those ratata pieces into the pot for the crew's lunch. Ha! You wankers. I hope you enjoy your curry a la ratata. Go to hell. Wow, even I think this is disgusting. What did he mean when he mentioned the ratata looks sick? Was it, was it infected? Is that the reason the crew became sick? That sick bastard. Well then. And I believe we get more answers about that diary later, don't we? There we go. Any day now, you can move down here, ma'am. Any day, the water gun could just go through you. Don't feel bad for the sailor. Trash. Captain's cabin. Locked. Okay, we can go to the kitchen now. Let's go on a little adventure. Kitchen was down there, which is inaccurate, by the way. Door won't open. Locked from the inside. 
Diary of a Passenger, March 18th. Wow, the SSN is a wonderful ship. I'm so excited having my honeymoon with my, my, uh, my wife, Rosalind, here. We will travel to Kanto together. I've waited so long for this. The equipment, the staff, the view, everything is so perfect. The day has just started as the sun is rising, but I'm sure I won't forget this beautiful day. The following entry was written at a later time. Rosalind just came back from her sightseeing tour. She wanted me to be with her, but she knows I'm into books when I'm on long journeys. Obviously, she doesn't feel so good. She laid down to rest a bit. Maybe she has some seasickness, the poor thing. She's sweating a lot. I hope she'll be fine soon. I think I should call the medical doctor of the ship. Hmm. The next entry is Scrawly. Oh crap, I can't believe what happened. I brought Rosalind to the doctor. She rested there for a few hours. When the doctor visited her again, she suddenly jumped out of bed and bit off two fingers from the doctor. Rosalind, what's, what's wrong with you? I don't know what to say. The rest of the diary is full of blood. Trash. The door won't open. It's blocked from the inside. Oh, here's free items. Pokegear song two of six. Damn it, I didn't want free Pokegear songs. I didn't need collectibles. Trash. This won't help us. I feel like the ship theme is something I've heard in another Pokemon game. Nothing to pick up here. I'm surprised it lets me walk into most of these rooms. What about down this way? Okay, there's someone down there. It's a PMD track. Is it? Which one? It's a remix of one of the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon 2 cutscene themes. I think I, I hear what you mean, yeah. Door won't open. Locked from the inside. Is that a Pikachu? Oh no! Pokemon, let's go to heaven, Pikachu. Squish. Pokemon, let's get six feet under. What is that? A safe, hmm? Don't think the owner still needs the content inside. It's locked. And open it with the right code. Hmm. Seems this wasn't the right code. Can't get in. Door handle broke. Okay, hang on. Dude! So many of my shots are just going directly through them. It's like there's a frame of their walking animation where they're completely immune. Also, there's just a dude floating up there, too. That bothers me so much. Got a berry. Can see another person floating up in the corner. Yeah, Zargoth and Mr. Prince were really the only ones making these kind of games. At least ones that really stood out. Combat is definitely a little crusty, but you gotta love the dedication and, and work that went into them. Again, I don't hold the transla- the crustiness of the translation against them, because they both made their games in German first. I don't know if they even speak English. Do they? S stop Don't come any closer! Hey, man! I'm serious. Stop that shit! <laughs> the, the bully? That's right, he called him a bully. Croc, attack! Whoa, he got a melee. He got you. He got you good. Yeah. Th thanks for the help. Oh, it hurts. At least the wound does not bleed so much. Other people were devoured by those psychos. I don't know what's wrong with him. I locked I locked us in the kitchen a few hours ago, and he's become one of those psychos. I think you've seen what was going on here after. He's bitten. Hey, listen. I was supposed to come back in the ship to collect some food. Aren't you some kind of rescue unit? Oh, man. Came back to collect some food supplies? That's insane. Oh, sorry. 
And over there in that box contains some food. Nothing left but this. By the way, what's your name? Drake. My name is Drake. Okay. Thanks, Drake. I think you just saved my life. Name's Andre. And what about Vermilion City? Is everything peaceful there? No. Much worse than the ship. That's why we need the supplies to survive for a few days. What the F? What now? Getting off the ship. It's got, I got what I came for. I see. You have a safe place there? Pretty, yeah. And would it be possible to come with you? This disease turns humans and Pokemon into murdering creatures. It's recommended to avoid the contact with those infected all the time. It is now known this infection can be transferred if someone gets bitten by an infected. Being bitten even once is already enough. Mr. Prin stopped making games because he had a baby. Child's grown up enough and he's becoming active again. Oh, that's cool. Good for him. I think that I'm not a bad person. I won't leave him here to die. I'll take him with me. Take him with me. Maybe Christopher can patch him up. Right? You can come with me. But don't even think about to fool or betray me, you hear? You're gonna have a bad time if you try, okay? Mm, okay. Uh, uh, thanks, Drake. Wouldn't it be so funny if the Totodile's name was Josh? Let's take the food supplies before we leave. Andre's been hurt. Not Andre! There we go. Box contains dishes. Useless. Crash. Aha! Barry, just like the real game. Trash. How many berries I got? Three. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that this scene would be different if I had negative karma, right? Because I'm in the blue, I had the blue text happen, and I'm like, all right, Andre, you can come with me. I'm not a bad person. Thank you for the resub there, Forte. Oh, God, hang on. Okay. I have to be very careful. Combat, as you guys have seen, is very crusty in this game, so... We gotta do it like this. Look at that spooky ghost emote. Everything is spooky today. I love the part where they walk into the wall over and over. And if I approach them in that situation, I get hit because they'll just aggro towards me. <laughs> okay, that shot went through them. Let's try that again. The shots going through people definitely happened in the Dusk Remaster, but in this version of Dawn, it is absolutely happening all the damn time. It's pretty much just a limitation of the engine, I guess. It is made in RPG Maker 2003. Damn it! Seriously? Tried to turn around, didn't let me. Okay, we're at 9 HP. Whatever. We can get a full heal soon enough. I see that truck. I don't know if I can really do anything with it, though. Tadpole! Why do they never want to turn the corner? Dawn is RPG Maker 2000. Damn, not even 2003? Excellent. Kind of curious, what year was this made in? I know that the translation was floating around 2015, 2016. That's when I, like, played it in my early Let's Play days. Ooh. Everybody take a drink when the water gun goes right through the zombie. <laughs> You'll die. <laughs> um... Was Nightmare Invasion made in 2003? Or 2000... Uh, two, the engine, not the year. You know what I mean. No, but yeah, I should update that playlist I was talking about. I'm gonna include it in the description of this one as well. But, um... There's a playlist of Pokemon horror games that are kind of like this, so... Go ahead. Everybody have fun with that. 
enjoy your spooky month. So here we are. Wow, seems to be safe here. Hi, everyone. My name's Andre, and I'm a liability. Welcome back, Drake. So, did you find something? Yeah. That supply box contains food. I found it on the ship. Here. Drake gives Simon the food supplies. Wow, that's so great. Seems like I can retire young. I won't lift a finger anymore. Of course. Whom did you bring with you? Some guy who was locked in the kitchen. His name is Andre. Oh, okay. No problem. He can stay here. Yeah. Hmm. There's one problem, though. I I problem? Do you see his injury on his arm? Yeah, I see it. Well, an infected bit him. Wait, what? Um, infected? What are you talking about? Oh, he doesn't know. No, but what? Infected? This guy who bit you, he was infected. That's why he was so insane. I'll turn it back up, we're off the ship. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay! A and what does that mean for me? You also got infected. And you will turn into one of them after a while. What? H how can I stop this infection? Christopher over there is a paramedic and... There is no cure or vaccine at this time. No, no cure? Is that a joke? Come on! You folks are kidding, right? I wish it was a joke. We listened to the Jono broadcast again when Drake was away. There's nothing that can stop the infection. No vaccine, no cure, nothing. Then the radio uh, moderator screamed into the micro and the connection was cut. Not so safe anymore. Sounds like they probably let an infected Andre in there. After he turned, he will be a threat to us. He could tear us apart like the people in the SSN. Right. There's nothing we can do for him. That means we gotta get rid of him. What? No, no. Please. Please, let me stay here. I didn't escape from the ship to die like an animal out there. You can't do this to me. I'm human. Oh, man. Shit. Uh, Drake, what do you think? Get rid of Andre. I've got an idea. Because I'm a good moomin, and this is a good moomin stream... That only wholesome teddies can watch. We're not gonna be meanies. I've got an idea. I've got an idea how we can help him. What kind of idea? This infection is unstoppable, Drake. There's nothing we can do. We can... We can cut off his infected arm. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do that. We're gonna pretend that idea still works. I saw it on The Walking Dead! It definitely works! We cut off his infected arm. What? Are you insane? He... D depends on you. Either we cut off your infected arm or we throw you out of here. And then you can walk outside as one of those undead. Your decision. St stop! Are you absolutely sure this is necessary? You've seen that guy who turned in the kitchen ship. Like I said, this will also happen to you. Well, he'll also just die from the blood loss, yeah? Like, you can't just chop off an arm. Like, amputations, you have to have, like, things on standby. That's why they have rooms and equipment for that. You can't just take an axe from the shed and be like, Well, let's cure him! <laughs> like I said, this will also happen to you. Or we will prevent this quickly. It also wouldn't work. Like, I'm sorry, but wouldn't it, like, be in your bloodstream, like, within... Minutes? Seconds? I don't know how this stuff works. Or we will prevent this this quickly. And you're absolutely sure about it. Hell no! I'm a 17-year-old guy with a totodile, not a doctor. Within seconds, it would travel through the bloodstream. Okay. You're not a doctor either, but I'll trust you more than totodile. And are you absolutely sure about it? Adrenaline would make the blood, blood uh, pump faster through the system. Oh, that's also true. 
I think. It sounds true enough. I'll believe it. I'll, I'll believe the medical information from chat. You're absolutely sure? Absolutely. Okay. If there isn't any other chance, then we're doing it. Good. Christopher? You're certified in first aid? That's enough qualifications for me. Christopher, can you do amputation? Sorry, Drake, but I'll be honest. That's too heavy for me. I'm a paramedic, not a butcher. Won't ask Lucas in the first place. And me neither. Couldn't do such thing. Then I'll do it. <laughs> okay, we're gonna make him do it. See, this is what I love about this game. It's so silly and over the top. Okay, I disinfected the arm. <laughs> oh. Andre, you ready? Please make it fast. Believe me when I say that I won't drag this out or enjoy it. Christopher, give me the inter introduction. Yeah, right. Andre, put your arm on the table. Do it already. Yeah, sorry. Okay, good. Drake, take the saw. <laughs> the saw? Like, is it a hacksaw? Or a chainsaw? Drake, take the saw and place it slightly over the bite wound. No painkillers. Nope, I gave those away. Slightly over the bite wound. Just slightly. Yes. Yes, that looks good. Next step is to saw through the flesh and bone. Yeah. Oh. Press X to chop off Andre's arm. <laughs> oh. Oh, God. There's a button prompt on screen for it. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> Quick! We have to tie up his open wound! Yeah, that'll work. Just put a belt around it. That'll stop the blood from gushing out. That was some bloody matter. Did he survive? Yeah. Andre's sleeping in my bed right now. But I'm not even wondering. He just lost an arm. Either way, either that or he'd be six feet under. Yeah, hope it works. We will watch him. Regarding the we, I'm done with your favors. I just had to freaking amputate a guy's arm because you all didn't want to do it. I was looking for an escape plan outside and there's no way out. I saved two of your friends. I broke into a Pokemart, and it didn't get anything good because I left a berry to a sentry and actually went back to the effing SSN to get some food and help that boy. And even had to cut his arm off. I don't know what you're thinking about, but you all owe me. I even helped Lucas with this infected Persian I had to put down. Hey, hey, hey. Calm. We, we know you. We know. We know we owe you. And we don't want any more favors from you. But... Oh, hang on, father's calling me. <laughs> what? How was that possible? My father just called me? Damn. He hung up after I picked up the phone. Doesn't make any sense. Why shouldn't he call you? He cares about you. It's more complicated than you think. His actual position is Viridian City. So he's there. But I thought he vanished. Is he back? Hey, um, are you okay? Drake? What? Yeah. I gotta go now. As soon as possible. I can't stay here any longer. Huh? What? I don't understand. You don't have to. I have to reach Viridian City as soon as possible. That's my real destination. If there's any way out, 
Hmm, yeah. But there is none. Piglet's cave is blocked. I'd never come through. Can't get over that tear path to Lavender City, either. But how about Cerulean City or Saffron City? If you're thinking about a new escape plan, well... As far as I know, the underground path is administered by the government of Cerulean City. It's up to them to open the underground path. But no chance to reach anybody there. I had some date with a girl in Cerulean City. It was near Bill's house, you know. Uh, the maniac? There was a very romantic view of the ocean, but no success though. I went home alone without her number. And what about Saffron City? Nobody asked, Simon. Isn't there any administration we could reach? Mm, it's not in their hand to open the door between Vermilion City and Saffron City. You actually could open the door from here. The people from Saffron might have closed the door, but... The switch to open the door in Saffron is still here in Vermilion City. And you couldn't have mentioned that earlier. Sorry. Never thought you would actually consider this as an escape plan. Because you didn't want to get back to the SSN. Whatever. The main switch is in the power grid of Vermilion City. The switch is in the gym of Lieutenant Surge. And? Where is the fucking problem? He could just open the door for us. At least we can get the hell out of here. And I would be one step closer to Viridian City. Well, there's only one problem. You can't just easily enter the gym. Why not? I'll jump over the fence and get in. That's it. No, no, Drake, it's not that easy. Lieutenant Surge only wants the best trainers in his gym. That's why the fence is under high voltage. Try to climb over the fence and you will get grilled. I'm not sure of the legality of that, but who cares? Pretty funny that you mentioned the gym with its fence. After you took a visit to the SSN, what kind of relation does that have? Yeah, uh, I was talking about with Lucas about it. He said he wants to help you no matter what it takes. He seems to like you, probably because of the things you recently told him. But I think I have to get a big swing about this gym thing. The fence of the Pokemon gym has one weak spot. It's that weird tree there. The captain of the SSN is the master of HM1, Cut. You could easily cut that tree with that technique. The captain always locks himself in his cabin, so he won't be disturbed by people. Fortunately, Lucas and the captain are members of the same fan club in Vermilion City. Lucas was always there with his Persian until, uh... Yeah, you know what happened to his Pokemon. Whatever. The captain stashed his replacement key for his cabin there. Why would you know that? How would any of you know that? He usually has the HM1 with him. Perhaps he's still alive. Ah, okay. Am I supposed to get into the fan club? No problem. Lucas gave me the key. He's always so sca- uh... Do I mean, like, scatterbrained and forgets things? Here you are. Club key from Simon. Good. Then I'll take a look at the fan club first. All right. We'll wait for you. Of course. What else should you do? Andre is sleeping. I cut his arm off. Wonder if this will help. Hey, Drake. Hope everything is soon over. I, I just want to go home. Don't we all... Hold up, just toss this to the side here. Uh, don't need to use the full heal yet. Let's make a save. Any more zombos crawling around? Door unlocked. There's a basement. Hmm, nobody here? Thought there would be a lot of Pokemon freaks around the clock. There are some stairs. Trash. Pokemon statue. I think this Pokemon's an Arcanine or so. Oh, good. The spooky basement at the Pokemon Club. Oh, boy. Hmm. Seems like we're not alone down here. The corpse there confirms it. We have limited vision. We got the whole RPG Maker shebang right now. It's 
best to just reset the room than try and engage it with like scratch or something. Okay, good, got him. Keep your eyes peeled for items, kids. Everyone get comfy, because it's spooky down here. If something gets spooky, well, then we're in trouble. Trash. Come on. Now, what's this music? Doesn't really sound like uh, spooky music, does it? it? Sounds really loud. Now I get a... Yeah, listen to it. Anything else down here? Okay, looks like we're done. Cubone! It hit me. Oh, cool. It just did, like, three damage. And, like, you know... There was just nothing I could do to see it come in there. Oh, that's terrible. Well, it is what it is. Can't save here. Well, Nurse is dead. Why did the Pokemon fan club need a basement like this? Well. Okay. is gonna have to use that full heal quite soon. What we got here? What are they doing down here? Making their own underground shopping center? Okay. Come on. I believe in you. You can make it through. Just round that corner. There we go. All up, I do need a drink. They were doing illegal Pokemon trades down here. Ah. An underground network of illegal trades. Hey, kid. I heard you wanted to get Sandshrew in red version. Be a, be pretty cool if I could make that happen without having to use a link cable. And just meet me down in the basement of the fan club. You got a sandwich? Sounds wholesome. I had leftover burgers for lunch before I started streaming. Where'd it go? It's stuck up here. Damn it, it went through again. Hold up. Let me just deal with this Zubat before I think about stretching. Damn it. Oh my god. Damn it, that hit me for two. Wait, what? Oh, it's still confused, so it's just moving on its own. It moves on its own randomly while, um, in the menu, too. That's cool. Damn it. I am lucky they weren't coming for me. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get more full heals in the long term, but yeah. I can reset when the damage becomes too bad, but you guys can clearly see my projectile going right through the zombie, so you know I'm trying my best. I'm fighting for my life out here. Okay. Just like the Dusk playthrough, I am saving all my consumables until I absolutely need them for the very end. Oh, Star is down. Is this the way forward? Looks like a Primeape. Or a Mankey. Okay. Uh, no, but if you are new to the channel, definitely check out that playlist I mentioned that should be in the description. Spooky Pokemon games are a special kind of comfy. So there's two paths. Oh! Oh, an antidote. Okay, I'll take that. Excellent. Pokemon just has hustle as an ability. <laughs> yeah. Spooky playthroughs are very comfy. Oh, is this the end? Karen and an old man died. Were they holding hands? Cabin key. Why was... Oh, that is why I was down here again. Seems like the people down here tried to find a safe place, but it didn't help. The door of the club was locked. Did anyone get infected and, bu and bit the others? Whatever. Our next destination is the cabin's cap... Captain's cabin on the SSN. 
And now we go back and hope that more zombies don't spawn in. I'm really nervous. I can't save right now. Pretty sure the moaning is just part of the uh, ambience. Yeah, I can only take like one or two hits max. A Q-Bone was doing three damage, I'm pretty sure. There's gotta be at least one zombie along the way. I see something back there? No. Why are there windows here? I thought this was a basement. Immersion ruined. Okay, let's get out. Other zombies around. Let's hop in here and save. Hey, Drake, I still have enough supplies to heal Totodile two times. Do you want me to heal your Totodile? Yeah. I didn't find an HP up or anything yet. Come back to me if you need help again. Ooh. I really needed that freaking heal, though. Turn it back up. Spooky games. Spooky games are fun! Some of my favorite playthroughs. Now, I think it was this way. I cleared out all the zombies earlier, and I checked all the diaries and stuff, right? Okay, this went outside. I checked all that. Like, back in the early days of Let's Play, and I would love playing all the RPG Maker stuff, but... Oh, there is a new Pokemon here. Hang on. Remember the Growlithe from Nightmare Invasion? <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're using the same overworld sprite. Hang on. Let's see here. Nowadays, though, there's not as many, like, RPG Maker things that come out, so I don't play them as much. A bit of a downside with, like... Like, people are still making RPG Maker stuff. The problem is... A lot of it's not as good, in my opinion. Like, some of them just do kind of feel like they're trying to emulate the stuff that was popular back in the day. Let me see. There's still quite a few gems I know that are on, like, Steam that I need to get to, though. Door unlocked. Hmm. Discarded the cabin key. There he is, standing on the trash can. What's wrong with him? They're staring at the trash can? Ahem. Hey. Captain? Are you unconscious or what? Hey. What's wrong with you? Do you understand me? <gasps> oh no! He dead. Wow, shit. His face is messed up. But how is that possible? Nobody is here! Hmm. The window is slightly open. Something must have flown or crawled in through the window. Well, even the captain wasn't safe. He dropped something. HM1! Seasickness is no joke. I don't have any clue how the HM works. Let's go back to Simon. It's about time he's doing, done something useful. Toto, Toto, Toto. The book is on the other side of the table. Can't read it from here. Let's check this out. A diary with a lot of entries. Should I read it? Diary of the Captain. The oldest entry was written a few years ago. 97. Captain of the SSN. My dreams have come true. I still have to realize it. I'm so happy about that chance. I'll do my best. But I wish I hadn't had that seasick. Wish I hadn't that seasickness. No one mustn't find out. I mean, a captain who has seasickness. Embarrassing. September 14th. It don't feel good right now. Seasickness makes me feel weak. We're supposed to be on the sea now, but we're still in Vermilion City. No one should know that, uh, that in fact the sea is stronger than my stomach. Those damn books about seasickness have no use for me. What a waste of money. Wow, I'm feeling better now. A young Pokemon trainer from Pallet Town came here and gave me a back massage. My sickness suddenly got away and I'm ready for the sea. I gave him the HM1 from return. I'm sure he'll need it. I'm always happy to help Pokemon trainers. Next entry was written a year later. October 9th. I had a great year with the SSN. 
I was one year oversea. What else should I write? I'm really happy. I'm captain of a great ship and crew. November 2nd. We were in Vermilion City for a while, but it's time to go again. Oh, I almost forgot. The Pokemon trainer who helped me with my seasickness a year ago. This little yonker is now the champion of the Indigo Plateau. Who would have guessed that I would, uh... Does he mean, like, young youngin? Or is that like a German term that wasn't really translated? Who would have guessed I'd meet him on my ship? I was really surprised. No entries in the year 99. January 14th, 2000. Another successful year with my beautiful ship. But some men have left the crew to take care of their families. I don't have a problem with that. I do understand them. I would also prefer my lovely wife, Maria, if she was still alive. I mean, if... I hired some new men for my crew. I'm really excited how they'll do. It's an old term for a youngster. Okay. January 31st. The new crew has arrived, and we're ready for the sea. But I also miss my old crew. I think they deserve a chance. There is some... There is one certain crew member who is a little different. His name's Toby. He is some weirdo. He locked himself in his cabin the whole weekend and claimed that he didn't find it good to work on weekends. Did he get sick or something? Maybe seasickness. He seems to be a little confused. I'll keep, I'll keep an eye on him. February 11th. I was on the deck to enjoy the fresh air today. While I was outside, I saw Toby from a distance. He was throwing his clothes overboard and screamed. Short time after, he approached to me and told me his co-worker has thrown his clothes overboard. I told him... I talked to him frankly... Or... This is worded weirdly. I told him frankly... Uh, that I saw what actually happened. Yeah, that makes sense. Better than how it's written. But it seemed he didn't realize my words. What's wrong with this boy? March 6. I talked to the crew and asked them what they're thinking about Toby. Obviously, I'm not the only one who thinks he's a total weirdo. He's sitting all alone on the crew's lunch break, and Toby's watching them in a scary way. He locked himself in his cabin again. When I wanted to talk to him about what happened, I locked his cabin with the replacement key and enter. I saw him sitting on the bed, and he seemed to be completely wrecked. Bruises and cut wounds were all over his body. What happened? I mean, he was all alone in his room. He didn't want to talk to me, and didn't react either. I offered him to call an ambulance, but he didn't seem to want to accept my offer. Did he do this to himself? March 10th. Toby's behavior is more or less normal now. I don't know what's wrong with him, but maybe he will integrate himself now. March 12th. I have to revise my last entry. How are they going to call an ambulance on the, uh, open sea? <laughs> I mean, I, they probably have on-ship doctors for stuff like that. I have to revise my last entry. Toby barely eats. He just sits in the kitchen and stares. He's thrown his food tray down and was whispering something to himself. Like he was talking to someone. That was so damn weird. I think I have to fire him. This is getting out of control. Maybe the sea was too strong for him. I don't know. I give him an ordinary notice of termination of two weeks, so we can look for another job. I don't want him to be unemployed, but unfortunately I have to. There's some note. Before I forget, the code for the safe... There's a yellow piece of paper. Everybody write it down. Get out your notebooks. 2689. Well, we can guess the last one. Seems like the last digit was torn off. Okay. Trash. Heard something. It's a spinner rack there. That must have been the thing that got him. And my water gun is not the thing that got him. Damn it. So he has a projectile, too, and that can poison me. Hang on a second. Can I save up here? Yeah, there's no health bar, so... Okay, perfect. Okay, then. Okay, then. Yeah, we're not... I'm not having that crap going on. This is a terrible room. I have to fight an enemy here. Dude! He keeps turning back as soon as I have a shot on him. Okay, there we go. Damn it. Remember.
remember, I can't turn to a different direction without walking a space in that direction, so... That means, like, movement, you have to be very careful, otherwise you just walk into something and take a hit. Anyways, I didn't take damage, then I'm gonna make a save. Uh, let's go to the safe. Okay, that must be Toby's diary. I can't remember which room had the safe, so we'll just check them all. Let's have a little look-see around -see. The door won't open. I'm trying to get a drink, and you do this to me. Uh, upstairs? Okay, that leads to the back deck. I believe it was the other path here. Okay, had myself a drink. A little posture check. I have to take a bathroom break or something a little bit. I got pee. I bet the dev had a ton of fun with the the torn up sprites. Yeah. Okay, let's get this password open. Um, two six eight nine zero. Hmm. Seems this wasn't the code. Two six eight nine one. Hmm. Wasn't the code. Two six eight nine two. Wasn't the code. Two six eight nine three. There we go. Found an HP up. Crocs max HP raised to twenty five. Nice. Now it doesn't heal me upon getting it. If only I held up for a little longer before using the full heal. Oh well. I like going out of your way for extra upgrade stuff. No, I definitely, like, love games like this a lot. I know a lot of people look at stuff like this and they're like, Oh, it's cringe, it's cringe. It's like, no, goddammit, someone had a lot of fun making this and you were gonna enjoy it. Now, if they could just get around this sign and I could take a shot at them, that'd be fun. Any day now. Come on, I believe in- Oh, oh he's gone. Oh, no, he went back. Content, baby. Come on. Come on. You can figure it out. I believe in you. They hit me? How did they hit me? Oh my god, that, that pisses me off. Whatever. <laughs> that upsets me greatly. Whatever. Okay, Simon. I got the HM cut. Hey, Drake, how's it looking? How's it looking? I was just in the Pokemon fan club. All of Lucas's nerdy friends are either dead or undead. That's how it's looking. Wow. Uh, shit. You, uh, blurt something out. All dead or infected? Heck. Those people all fled to some sort of underground, but that didn't help. Underground? The sewers beneath Vermilion City? They were built a long time ago when Vermilion City was flooded often. They easily could draw off the water with that system. And those sewers were also used for natural disasters. People had some protection there. But everyone's dead? Oh man. I think we shouldn't tell him. You know, Lucas, he is... <laughs> Very sensitive, yes. Very sensitive. He is very sensitive, I know. You don't have to tell me. Yeah. Good. Thanks that you understand this. Good karma! Yeah! So, what about the captain? Did you get the HM1 from him? Yeah. It was pretty easy. Didn't even have to ask the captain. What do you mean? Captain's also dead. What? Him too? Yep. This infection. I'm starting to worry about it. Do you think it makes sense to stay here for a few days? I, I mean, if somebody wanted to do something against this plague, the military or so would be here, right? Don't know. Not interested anyway. I was thinking about this whole time. When you weren't here, we made something up, Drake. If you really want to go to Saffron City then we want to join you. I mean, we can't stay here if the situation won't get any better. 
You've seen what happened to those people in the underground sewers. Mm-hmm. So you want to come with me. But I don't need any millstone around my neck. Especially because of Andre. I cut off his infected arm, and I'm supposed to bring him safe to Saffron City. How should that work? Uh, don't be worried. We won't be a millstone around your neck. I promise. And about Andre... We take care of that, okay? We just want to get out of this town alive. You can still do your own thing. You will see that it works, okay? And come with me if you really have to. Before I forget my objective here, have this. I managed to obtain the HM1, but I don't know how or don't know how it works. Not who it works. I'm not even a trainer. Oh. I can help you with that one. I almost teach some electrode surf, but it didn't work like to, like expected. It exploded on the first try. Huh? Wait, what? No Pokemon trainer. What's your profession, then? Doesn't matter. Here. Gave him the HM1. Okay, good. Rock, come over here, please. Toto. I'm gonna teach you cut. Toto, Toto. So, this and that should do. Rock learned cut. Rock can use cut from now on. A special PP bar next to the normal PP bar has been added to the HUD. It recharges itself up after some time. When the special PP bar is full, Rock is able to use cut against enemies and small trees. Enemies who get hit by cut will receive double damage and you can access new routes by cutting trees. You can also cut by pressing the A button. If you press A while the special PP bar is not full, Rock will still use scratch. Wow! Really worked! And I can head for the Pokemon Gym. The leader of the gym will open the path to Saffron City. Uh, yeah, about that. Drake, listen here. Lieutenant Surge is some crazy guy. Former veteran who was in the war. He's some guy who's unpredictable. And I'm getting nervous. If I have to stare into his eyes for more than two seconds. Prepare yourself before you enter the gym, okay? I'll keep that in mind. Good luck. Okay. Speaking of which, let's make a save. We're still good to do it on Data 1, but I should start saving on Data 2. Okay, I'm back, everybody. Had a small little break. We're going to continue. I have cut now. But before we move on, we're going to go ahead and get some extra items. The game's been teasing this thing over here. Let's see what it is. Oh, hang on. The bar's not full. We gotta wait for it to fill all the way up first. Oh yeah, I know. They put this right here to tease you for a while. Come on. It's a Poke Gear song? Oh, dude, I feel robbed. <laughs> a song I can't play on stream. That's my reward. That makes me a sad woman. Well, now we gotta wait for this to go away. You got trolled, boy -o. Wait for the yellow bar to fill. Some completion doesn't matter now. Karma is different. Hmm. Seems like everything's okay here. There's a closed gate ahead. There must be a way through. Hold up. go back in here and make a save. Just in case. It did say to be prepared, right? Start saving on two. Good, the tree stays gone. Trash. Ding ding. Damn it. They recreated the puzzle properly, didn't they? I thought they were going to include the trick. Well. Damn it. Well, time to start over again. Trash. 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 Ding ding. Crash. Holy moly. 
I love doing this puzzle. The fact that they took the effort to recreate this upsets me and impresses me at the same time. There we go. Switch number two. Got you now. Hey. Guess you're the gym leader. I'm here because I need to get to Saffron City, and you can open that door. Some weird shit's happening out there. Don't you hear me? Open the frickin' door. Again. Open. That. Crappy. Door. Do you always talk like- talk to veterans like this, kiddo? What? You heard right- <laughs> Little brat. I'm an American soldier. You think you can talk to me this way? Believe me when I say I know what's happening out there. Don't worry about that. The door to Saffron City. Yeah, I'll keep it closed. What the? Are you- <laughs> Bro! Can you both calm down and act like adults? You want us to die here? Listen here, kiddo. My duty to accept challenges from Pokemon trainers. But, I have to keep this city shut if something bad happened out there. What? Are you out of your mind? We have to escape from the city, now! Well, there's no chance this will happen. Can't let this disease spread out. Even if the city's doomed, I'll go down with the city as a soldier. Never heard such bullshit before. Well, there's one thing you could do to try to open the path to Saffron City. And what would that be? To beat me in a Pokemon battle, you can't win. You beat me in a battle, then I'm not worthy to protect this city anymore. And you got my permission to go. So, kiddo, how's it looking? I swear to you, I will beat the crap out of you. Let's battle. All right, let's see you can handle my electrical battle style. I prepare the gym. I should have saved after doing the gym puzzle. Oh boy. Should have picked up that item first, but I assumed I couldn't. You have no chance, but you wanted it, kiddo. Right, you. Enter the battleground. Oh boy, this is like <laughs> random remix. Okay, here we go. Are you ready, Teddies? Right, you. Right, you. It looks so smug about this. Ugh. Electric Pokemon. This won't be easy. Go, Croc. Toto. Okay, let's do it. Just run around like an idiot for a little bit. Where'd he go? This is gonna... This is gonna suck, isn't it? Damn it. That flipped me around. Where's he going? Did I get it? I don't think I hit it with cut. Come on. Where's he going? Come on. Come on. Okay, he's going somewhere. Come on. Is your electric attack? Oh, that hit him. Come on, I'm doing this. Doing this. Damn it, the water went through him. Crap. Come on, we almost got him. Excellent. Hang on. Damn it. Was the killing blow, you piece of crap? I did it! I took like one hit, maybe? Enough. Raichu, retreat. We did it, Teddies. Fine. You won the battle. That means I'm not allowed to protect the city anymore. The item ball is there. Not there anymore. I guess he's giving me the key. Or was I supposed to pick that thing up before talking to him? I'm kind of confused. I opened the way to Saffron City. Furthermore, I think you deserve the Thunder Badge. <sighs> Do I look like someone who needs such pieces of crap? Okay, fine with me. Anything else? <laughs> Pfft. 
Croc Scratch. Just sick your toe to dial on him. No, that's it. All right. I can be a monster. I can be an unwholesome teddy monster. No, we're not going to do that. We're going to be a good woman. No, we're good. We got what we came for. Come on, Croc. Let's go. Oh, no. I hope I didn't just miss a free potion drop here or something. That would suck. You still here? Path of Saffron's already open. Is he gonna, like, close it as soon as I leave? Sounds like someone's locked the door behind us. So, gave my word to Simon that we're coming back. Let's head to Simon's house. Locked. Save again, I guess. Hey, Drake. You, uh, you already back? Seems like I am, hmm? How you been doing? Did you meet Surge? Yeah. And the way to Saffron City is now open. What? Really? Sounds fantastic. Yeah. I'm gonna go into the entrance of Saffron City. Wow. Uh, okay. We want to come with you, no matter what. But we gotta stabilize Andre first. Could take a while. We gotta pack our things and prepare. Drake, if you still have something to do, then please do it now. There won't be any other possibility if you don't do it now. You wanna go to Saffron City now? Yeah. Time couldn't be any better. I'll go to Saffron City. I, do, I hope this doesn't mean I'm losing the free heal now. Like, it, would it be better to use it before saying yes to this? Wow, super. Finally, we'll come out of this horror city. Like I said, we still have to pack our things and supplies. We can't protect all of us at the same time. But I know we can handle the, uh, how we can handle the, to come through Route 6. I got a good plan. We'll come after. Please wait for us, okay? Alright. I'll go now. Take care of your asses. See you around. Maybe. Hey, Drake. I still have enough supplies to heal Totodile one time. Um... I think I'm about to use lose this. Am I? I don't actually remember. Again, it's been like six years, but... Like, I lost all the remaining heals with Nurse Joy and Dusk when something else happens there. I feel like I should use it. Because they only give me a few... Mm. That Pokeball sprite in the game has no code attached to it. It was just Raichu's Pokeball or something? Okay, thanks, Minard. Yeah, I think I should use it, too. I have no badges. Side missions, too. Okay, let's do it. Because I feel like this one free heal is about to disappear. The fact that they only give you two or three for this section of the game seems to imply that you should use them now. Because the game's about to advance. Come back to me if you need help. Okay. I've picked up everything. Are there any more locked doors? I don't think so. I've opened everything now and checked the entirety of the ship. Roar. Huh? Wait! Stop! Oh, God. I almost shat myself. Hmm? You. No. Thought you were one of those. Those human-eating monsters. You know what I mean? Those infected in Vermilion City. Only amateurs get infected. Thank God. You don't need more of them in Saffron City. More? Does that mean they've spread to Saffron City? Yeah, unfortunately. A few people were bitten by those human-eating monsters and, yeah, went to Saffron City. Now they're here, in Saffron. I'm here to prevent. It's my duty to protect the city and hold off the infected that come through here. But luckily, no more showed up. My name's Richie, by the way. What's your name? Name's Drake. But don't think it'll be relevant for you. Some more people are coming here soon, I think. They urgently want to reach Saffron City because they thought it was safe here. Yeah, too bad they don't know that it isn't. I see. So you merged up with a group? Nope. I'm a loner. Don't need anyone. Let's say these people are just souvenirs. But basically a survivor group. Yeah, as long as I can aim for my own goals. We also got a survivor group here in Saffron City. 
We could need more helping hands if you're interested. We also got a safe house. I don't want any more people to die. I think I fought the infected pretty well. I see. How about the path through Cerulean City? Is there any way to reach, reach Viridian City? Oh, good question. Honestly, I don't know. Maybe you should ask my group. I'm sure there's a way. You think so? Where's your group? My group is in some office building near the Sylphco. Sylphco is the biggest building in Saffron. And, um, your souvenirs, will they come along with you? Probably. We'll see. Hmm. You said you fight those human-eating monsters earlier. I think it'd be good to kill those monsters in Saffron first. Your group could join us, and you would have more free space if you're going to kill those monsters. What do you think? Fine with me. I kill every infected that comes my way anyway. Cool. Come back to me when the city's clean. After the city's cleaned, I'll call my group and tell them to unlock the door for you. Good luck, boy. Take care. I don't need luck. See ya. I'm too cool for you, bro. This looks lou just as lousy as Vermilion City. Let's kill the infected first and get back to that moron who leads us to his group. Is that an infected manky? Is that a puff? Not on my watch. Put that puff out of its misery. There you go. There we go. Locked. Is that Daisy? Daisy Oak herself? Damn it. In the end, it seems best to use Water Gun over Scratch. Which is like kind of the opposite compared to uh, Dusk. You know what's also kind of funny? Why is it that, like, Quilava used Scratch and Slash? Quilava can't even learn those, right? It was a Tackle user. Thank you for the resub there, Sam. Appreciate it. Appreciate all the subs lately. I'm glad y'all are loving the streams. Whoops. Come on now. Okay, got it. Walk over the squishy friends. Locked. Saffron City is the largest city in Kanto. Probably the worst place to go during an apocalypse. Oh, yeah, the graveyard. I think I remember something like that. Oh, what? Bro. He got knocked back on death, but, like, his hitbox was still active? That kind of pisses me off. And what do we got here? Can I read these? Why is this one glowing? I almost wonder if this one's a reference or something. Nothing in the grass. Locked. Puppies! Let's go. Get them. Come on. I think that's it for now. Let's head back to that dude. He'll bring us to his hideout. Hang on, let me see if there's anything in the overworld to pick up. Ooh, Silphco got a sign. There's, uh, the player's mom. There's Kurt. Everybody is so squishy. My shoes must be really, like, sticky with blood now. Locked. Sabrina probably had the psychic foresight to lock the door. Locked. Locked. Not leaving by train. Locked. Locked. I'm guessing none of the other exits work. Let's just go have a look over here, why don't we? So, you actually did it. I'm almost impressed. Speaking of the devil, you left a bloody trace uh, in Vermilion City. Drake, is it true? They're infected in Saffron City? The gamble did not pay off. Found some frozen flesh from the supply bo box you brought us. With that flesh, we managed to get through Route 6. The infected were distracted when we threw them the, the flesh pieces. But like I said, I think it wasn't worthwhile. We should have stayed home. Stop complaining. It was your damn decision. He's right. Wow, Andre, you really survived. Yeah, I'm glad that I'm still alive. 
The question is, what now? Time to keep a promise. Hey, what's with your group now? Oh, right! Uh, sorry, I'm gonna contact them right away. Nervous and forgetful guard. Great. Even worse than Lucas. Um, hey! It's me, Richie, from the south entrance. A few, uh, few people passed here. What? No? They're still here? Young folks. Someone with a lofty hairstyle. And some guy who looks like some medical doctor or something. Small guy with black hair who doesn't like to talk. And a boy who only has one arm. Seems like it happened recently. Oh! And someone with red hair who fought the monsters with his totodile. Some of you might have seen him outside. He talked about that he has to reach Viridian City or so. And the others are looking for protection. Hmm. No. They seem to be clean and okay. No bite wounds. The, the one with one arm? I don't know. Okay. I'm gonna tell him. Bye. Okay, I talked to my group via the walkie-talkie. They said you could join them. The streets are pretty monster-free. But this won't be forever. The house where my group is is next to the Silvco building. Oh yeah, great. Thanks, Richie. Drake, let's go together, okay? Yeah. Oh boy. The third game has uh was proofread by an English native speaker, so it's not as uh not as a little crusty with the dialogue. Okay, that's good. Hmm, this guy, Drake. Have I seen him before? I know his face from somewhere. What is this track? This is another Resident Evil track, but I can't... Oh god, which one is it? Oh, it's gonna bother me. Oh, there you are. Welcome. I, it's good that you could make it. Richie informed us that you're going to arrive. I may introduce myself. I'm Mayra. That's how you say it? And this is my Pokemon, Meryl. Meryl, Meryl. The young man next to me is Mike. He used to work here in this building. Hey, folks. And the gentleman next to me is the, are the lovely Charles. Howdy. Uh, hi. I'm Simon. I, uh, I'm Lucas. Christopher here. Andre's my name. Hi. Name is Drake, but you don't have to memorize. And my Totodile, uh, Elias Croc? Totodile is named Croc. Toto, Totodile, Toto. We saw you and your Totodile out there fighting against those monsters. I never thought someone could fight those monsters like you do. We lost so many people in the past hours, they thought they could fight the monsters easily. Listen, I'm telling you now, this is just a transit for me. I have to reach Viridian City. This guard told me you would know how to find a way out of here. Yeah, we're also trying to escape from Saffron City. We had a few plans, but nothing worked. We wanted to escape through the normal exits, but the doors are already locked. Every Pokemon that could bring us out of here were already gone. Our group is on the street, but when the infected came, our group decreased so fast. Now we're here, trying to organize everything in this building. Believe me, when I say we want, also want to escape from here. So, what about a new escape plan? Have you tried the magnet train already? We also thought the train could get us out of here, but the train station's locked. How about a new plan? Some of our boys are on the streets. We try to find some supplies in case we gotta stay longer here. I'm interested about the medical aspect in your group. Do you have good medical support? It sounds like the RE2 save room theme, but not quite. It's almost like not, like it's like half of it is playing. I don't know. I mean, you definitely need some medical support. Y yes, we're fine. Nurse Joy from Saffron City is here on the second floor. Oh, cool. I think I could be useful for you. I might help her. We're trying to prepare ourselves for the worst case. That's why we're collecting everything we can. Seems to be safe here. 
Right. We are careful because we lost a lot of people. All right. I think you should rest for now. Oh, Drake? Come back to me if you've checked out this place. Yeah. Hello, boy. We got a reliable group here. No one would let us down. And you need a strong group in times like these to stand against disasters. Know what I'm talking about. We had some hard earthquakes here in Saffron back then. Survived because I could count on everyone in my group. Ha, those old days. Earthquakes appear more often in Saffron. Cause is the Diglett's cave that's underneath the city. They always cause trouble, those little beasts. We tried to escape from the city, but, the but when the breakout happened, it was already too late. That's why I suggested to stay here in the office building where I was working at. I think it worked well. We got food supplies from the canteen and enough space. Yo, Drake. At least we're out of Vermilion. Better than nothing, right? I think we all made a big step today. Hmm. Seems like cutting off your arm actually worked. You don't look sick or something. I don't think you'll turn. Y yeah, but I still can't believe. The day started normally, and now... This world is doomed, and I lost an arm. Hey, listen. Nobody should know that you were bitten by an infected. Don't tell this to anyone, or they will kick us out. You know that they asked the guard why you lost an arm. Uh... Okay. I won't tell, I promise. Good. I'm counting on you. What's up, Meryl? Soda machine. A lot of drinks, but it's out of order. Looks super massive. Can't lockpick or destroy it that easily. Hey, Drake. I'm up here helping Nurse Joy with the medical attention. Take care. Hello. You are Drake, right? Christopher informed me already. I've only got one medical supply box to heal your Pokemon. I can heal your Pokemon just once. Perhaps there is a way to get more medical supplies. We will see. Come back to me if, you need, if your Pokemon needs to be healed. Okay. I'm glad we're here. It's way too dangerous in Vermilion City. I mean, it's still dangerous around here, but I'm feeling safe in here. Okay. We took a look at the place. hey -o, Drake. Hello, Mayra. You want to talk with me? Uh, yeah. Mm. Hang on. Do you say it as Mayra, or do you say it as, like, Myra? Like how M-A-Y-A -A is Maya? Do you say it like Myra? Genuinely curious. I'm not sure. I don't, I've never really seen anyone with that name, like, spelt like that before. I want to say it's probably pronounced Myra because of, like, how you say Maya. But correct me if I'm wrong. Mayra just doesn't... I'm not sure if that sounds right. Yeah, right. Like I recently said, we tried to escape from Saffron City without succeed. I think Mayra's right? Mm. Those monsters approached us before we could think about an escape plan. That's why we're here. We sent two of our men out to get us supplies, just in case we have to stay longer. Staying here? No. Not for me. Can't wait any longer. Okay, why? That's a private matter. Okay, but risking your life out there, I don't know. I hope that they find a key or something for the train station that could actually work. Could be a solution. Yeah, this could work. Oh boy. Did the creator even mean her name to be Myra Mayra, to be honest? Uh, some people would s are saying it's Myra. It does not matter. If they find something. Look at that. Blue karma. I'm a good boy. There's an alternative, though. Through the cemetery. Okay, I'll say Myra. We'll go with that. Argue about it in the comments. Give me engagement. <laughs> I'm all ears. The cemetery of Saffron City is connected to the Tower of Lavender Town through some underground. Oh, yeah, you know, that makes sense. If anybody would get through that underground, it would be possible to reach Lavender Town. But I don't know what's going on down there. I don't really want to know. Sounds like an opportunity to get forward, even if it's a detour. I want to take a look at this cemetery. We'd be able to leave Saffron City and this nightmare would have an end. What? You want to try this risky path? 
Break? Are you sure? I think it's really dangerous. You can stay here if you want. That's no problem for us. No. I want to try every possibility to escape from here. So how do I enter this underground cemetery? Hmm. Okay. You really want to try this one. Charles worked at the cemetery before the breakout happened. I give you the key. I keep saying breakout instead of outbreak. Is that technically correct? Sounds weird. You can tell us if the underground path is safe after you inspect it. But, Drake, I don't know if this is a good idea. I think being on a ship there, or where a breakout happened, is much worse. Okay. Just talk to Charles. He will give you the key. But, Drake, please, please, be careful. Hmm. You always care about strangers? We lost a lot of people. Just take care, okay? Yeah. You remember something about copyright for the cemetery event? Do ya? Well, get ready on the volume slider just in case. Hello, boy. I was listening to the conversation. I'm sorry. I'm always so curious. Ho <laughs> ho. Like Myra said, I used to work at the cemetery before this disaster happened. Here, take that. Cemetery key. You can enter the underground path of the cemetery with that key. What can you expect down there? I do not know. I have to shiver when I think about dead people being resurrected as undead. Yeah, I got that. Good luck, boy. Let's make a save. Let's make a save again. Hey! There it is. Clock tower music. Music box style. We would be safe if we could go through Lavender Town. If we can, we'll come back and tell it to the people. Well, I mean, they let us into their safe house. Scissorman's about to start chasing us now. Thanks for the sub, friend. Appreciate it. Clock Tower's another series y'all should be uh, watching, too. Door unlocked. And it's gone. Trash. Clock Tower still getting a remaster next year. Looking forward to playing that. I've teased the idea of doing a all endings playthrough of the first game again because people want me to do yet another stream for it. Hold up. This music. Dude. Dude, I, I, I recently played a game with this track. I can't remember what, though. Dude, I... Is this from a Resident Evil game? I think it is. This doesn't sound good. But I didn't expect something else than undead people in the graveyard. Okay. Oh, I... You know what it is? I think it's from the Resident Evil 2, uh... The Resident Evil 2 lab. That's where I recognize it from. Maybe it was the Clock Tower track? I don't think it was the Clock Tower track that got claimed. But old YouTube, lots of meaties would get claimed. I'll deal with it if it happens, you know what I mean? Hang on. Come on. Dude. Of course. Definitely sounds like the RE2 lab. I think I also recognize it because when I was playing Dark Side Chronicles with Dylan, I heard there was a remix of it playing. It's hard to recognize some tracks when they're meaties. Uh oh. Okay, nice. I got him. Hang on. I didn't take a hit, so let's go back and save. Let's do it. And check these. This underground path has underground trees and stuff. It's neat. I'm playing it safe. Let's play it safe and comfy. Let's keep going. I don't know how are y'all doing. Y'all enjoying this playthrough? You better. Or else. That dude dropped his Game Boy. That's how you know this is serious business. Uh oh. This is a bad layout for this spot.
Okay, let me get a drink before something creeps up on me. Ugh. Anything? Okay, that's the way forward, so let me see if the other path leads to an item. Because this game has kind of been a lot more stingier with potion and berry pickups. Oh, cut. Ah, dead end. Damn. Not even an item this way. Stingy. Excellent. No, I've I've been enjoying a lot of the recent playthroughs. They're a lot of fun. Like when I started kind of marathoning the the spooky games in recent weeks, they weren't doing so great at first. But now even some of those Resident Evil playthroughs are kind of really growing past like the 10k views. That's pretty cool. People love the Dusk Remaster playthrough, so they'll probably like this too. Again, I mentioned it before, but half the reason I'm also playing these is. A lot of people follow the channel just for Pokemon, which is fine. So, you know, get that crossover viewership. Pokemon and Spooky. Oh, I killed it. It just reset its body position. There's some water down here. That's like corpse water. It's all goopy and gross. I certainly, uh... I plan to continue more spooky games after the month ends, of course, but this is a good month to play a lot of them, for sure. Okay. Okay, I got it. I think after... Uh-oh. Hang on. Got him. Here lies my former team Pokemon, Raticate. The one who did this to you will pay for it. Gary Oak. Oh, no! Not the Raticate! <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. More spookies. I noticed that another playthrough that's kind of been, blo like, uh, getting views again. Um, some months back, I did a playthrough of, like, the Pokemon Creepypasta a game where you have a ghost that just kills everything in battle. And I did it while um, reading old Pokemon creepypastas, and people love that. <laughs> if I can put together a list of other creepypastas, maybe have people vet them, that would be, like, another fun thing to do. It gets darker. Okay, they're shooting at stuff. I think I'm gonna go back and make a save. I cleared out a lot without taking a hit, and it looks like I could easily get hit in that room up ahead, so let's go back. Hmm. I mentioned doing creepypasta readings again for, like, a ghost-only playthrough. I could honestly just mod a save to just put all the ghost types in the party box, because if you play something like Fire Red Leaf Green, you can only you only have access to Ghastly, and you can't even evolve it to Gengar without mods. Well, haunt you to Gengar, you know what I, I mean. Buried alive. Oh, the cringy ones. What's still funny to me is that a few of the people that wrote some of those creepypastas happened to be watching that that stream VOD, and they contacted me later about it. And they're like, oh god, I wrote this when I was a teenager. I'm so embarrassed that you read it on stream. <laughs> oh, that was so funny to me. Like, no one even told them about it. They just got jump-scared by watching the video, and they're like, oh no. Ah, here we go. Okay, let's take this guy out slowly. Oh! Did it get me? I'm not poisoned. Kind of hard to not take a hit against this thing. Oh, here we go. Oh, damn it. I want to save the health, so I'm going to go back. A little stingy, I know, but this game is stingier with health than Dusk. And this is on normal mode, not hardcore, so don't worry. Oops. Imagine watching your favorite streamer and all of a sudden they start reading your old fanfics. I know! You die... <laughs> dies of cringe. Oof. Kai. Now see, if I read chat's creepypastas, people are gonna make the most intentionally stupid thing ever, and it's not gonna be as funny. You know it wouldn't work like that. Okay. Okay.
Okay, I got one hit. Let's do this. Come on. Okay, I got him. Oh, boy! Damn it! Seriously? There you go, die. How are you supposed to, like, hit this one? He just, like, hugs the wall. Ugh. And now I took even more health. That's really cool. This room sucks, man. Let's try again. Excellent. Let's all go down again, and everything will be lots of fun. For real, though, I kind of want to play a hack now where you just go through, like, the entirety of, like, uh, gold, silver, crystal, or heart gold, soul, silver, even. Just as silver. Like, just alter the story and dialogue a bit to accommodate them. Kind of like what the Wally hack did. That'd be kind of neat. Okay. Oh, nice. I got him. Damn it! Are you freaking kidding me? It's so unfair. Mm. Oh, okay. Let's try again. Oh my god, this is terrible. This is the worst layout to fight these dudes. Oh. All right, let me get a drink. Stay calm. This is definitely much more difficult than Dusk, for sure. I'm trying to conserve my health here. I'm gonna have to go back and save after I kill the Spinarak. Nice, okay. Wait, did I take damage? Okay, no, I was already at 24. No, I'm not- I'm not taking chances. It's really easy for the damage to pile up in this game if you have multiple rooms that are like that. It's better to just take the 10 seconds or so to run back. It's not a big deal. You gotta have patience. You gotta survive the horror. At least it's easy to get back. I noticed that these games seem to have, like... They love to have these sections where you just kind of go down a long hallway over and over. Did I, did I actually save or did I autopilot that? Hardcore mode has limited saves, yeah. Let's go back again. I mean, it's frustrating because sometimes the water gun will also go through the enemies. Sometimes. Let's go and have fun! Everything is fun when you play video games. Fun when you play Pokemon. Pokemon is for babies. <laughs> and then you show them this. You weren't even near me. Get out of here. Yeah. Okay. The Zubat is dead. Let's move on. I'm at 22 health. I'll, I'll just have to deal with that. Oh, somebody got ripped in half. What? What? Oh, that's not fair. I thought he was stuck in the corner, and I didn't realize that it was, um... I didn't realize that it was an enemy stuck there. I thought it was just a dead body. That is... Okay. And Water Gun went through it. He wasn't even waiting there. He was just randomly stuck by complete coincidence. Okay, he's dead. What is that? Is that supposed to be a body? The shirt is the same color as the dirt, so it looked like something else. No! I've lost too much health. I've lost too much health again. Oh, this part is so ass, dude. Ah, oh, okay. At least the spinner down. 
I feel like the, um, like the circle of light around me is really unnecessary. Enemies just get a cheap shot on me sometimes. I have one heal from Nurse Joy, and my items are three berries and a potion. Need to make sure I'm topped up for the end. Like, he has a... They have ranged attacks, so I can't even... Come on. Oh. They have ranged attacks, and I can't see in front of me. My water gun goes outside of my field of vision. Okay, good. Zubat's dead. Next is the Bulbasaur that can get stuck, so let's be careful. See? Like... Oh, shit. He blended in right there, and that's what tripped me up. Okay. Okay, good. I thought I was getting hit there. Okay, good. Got him. Gonna go back and heal again? Not yet. I know the shelter's coming up. Okay, there it is. Where's that cloister? Okay, now it was shelter. Now it should be a dead end with an item there or something. I am so upset! <sighs> I got a Poke Gear song. I'm gonna go back and save. Yell at me all you want. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a safe moomin that didn't spend all its HP. In this attempt, I've only taken two damage, so I think that's worth going back to save. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Everybody just be a happy, wholesome little teddy. These underground paths are really long. Okay. Let me down a drink. I'll be grateful I saved that HP later. I did surprisingly much better with Dusk, but I think the remaster also fixed a little bit of the crust here and there. Like, um, I don't think any later versions of Dawn actually got translated, so... I think it, <laughs> the most up-to-date bug fixes were probably still in the German version. Who knows? Excellent. I can't even, like, when I go to look for, um, the most up-to-date versions of these, you know what happens when I search these up? I find my old playthroughs from six years ago as, like, the top search results. Like, as far as I can see, nobody but me is really playing these games in English. So that might be why I have all the views for them. Okay. Wait, hang on a second. The best ending is doing the whole game with no hits. You don't get anything for it, though. What? I hear a fampy. I hear a little elephant. Oh, crap. He's rolling. He's rolling. Oh, you're just making a guess at something? I'm not quite clear. Maybe I missed part of the conversation. Ah. Oh. Dude. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Does this look like a good corridor to deal with that? Bamfy can just turn into an invincible boulder and roll around randomly. And I have a slight L-shaped corridor to walk around in. And sometimes my projectile goes through them. <laughs> yeah, let's keep going. That silly little elephant. This part is definitely seems like a bit of a difficulty spike. I feel like it would easily be fixed if there wasn't, like, the, the circle around me. I feel like there's no reason to restrict my vision for this part, especially when the enemies get more techniques for this section, too. We have to retreat. Hang on, 
did that hit me? No, I hit them. That looked like a glitch, though. Talking about a convo I had in the Dusk Remaster comments where I said, Why do you not turn for getting hit? Or something. Oh, okay. The old Resident Evil argument. If Fampy does that, I kind of just... I can't even do anything. No damage run, get an achievement. Did I get hit? I got hit. Oh! That's not fair, dude! You can see how, like... If I, if I told myself to just shrug off every, like, two or three hits that each of these enemies give me, I'd have no health left by that point. Save scumming is why this is possible right now. This is by far the, <laughs> the jankiest part so far, yeah. Definitely pretty difficult. We can do it, though. Okay. Oh no, I'm in here. I'm starting to lose my way. I don't even recognize where I am anymore. There's the Zubat. Past the Bulbasaur. Shelter down there is dead. Hang on. I will stretch when that Fampy is dead. Again. The problem is it starts far enough away from me that it can easily go into a boulder by the time I reach it. Yeah, I see what I mean. Hold up, let's go. Okay. You can only save in places where zombies don't spawn. When the HP bar is gone, I basically am allowed to save. Ah, darn it. I kind of just have to pick a lane and hope it's already walking on that one, don't I? This is one of the worst ones. Yeah, the boulder makes it invincible, and it obviously goes fast. Oh, I think it counted the damage after it got out of boulder form, because I hit it at a certain point. Seems like every time I pick a lane, it's always one more to the right over. Oh, it went through it again! <laughs> it went right through him. Okay. Keep going. Darn it. The fact that it went far to the left side. I need to stay in the center. Oh, damn it. See, I don't even have the space to turn around and aim at it when it gets out of the first boulder form. This is... No! <sighs> game design right here. You're telling me. If I get hit again, I'm reloading. I take one HP from this vampy. It's not even safe to try and scratch it. It can just go into boulder form again. <laughs> Does this look fun to you? Are y'all having fun? Oh. Damn it. I managed to, it got stuck in the tree, so I had time to turn around and take an extra shot. There we go. Damn it. There we go. I went for the melee attack there. I got it killed. I'm going back to save. I'm going back to save. That was literally the worst enemy in the whole game. <laughs> I think after this, I, I'm not gonna... I don't need to go back and kill or save after every enemy anymore. That should be it. I hope. But I'm... Going to save. Oof. I took one damage from the elephant. That's all I'm gonna accept. That Fampy seems worse than the bosses, yeah. The problem with, like, enemies, like... Because they use Scratch like this, they have to be one tile in front of you. However, if the game even decides that they're going to walk in the, in the direction of you, even before they turn, you take the damage from them, which is really silly. So melee attacks feel extra unsafe in this game. Alright, I made a save, we're going back. We're going back! Get used to this corridor again. How fun is this? 
It it was kind of happened like that in Pokemon Dust, the remaster, but here it's happening way more frequently. Just like um, the attacks going through the enemies. Now we go up here. Doing all this so I can be at 22 health instead of like freaking uh, 10 or 11 is honestly worth it. Gotta be patient. Go through it. Be a good woman. Gotta get going. Your break's over. All right, have a good one, friend. See that elephant? You're dead. Oh, no. I hear a poison sting user. Oh, no. Worse, it's Cubone who does three damage per hit. Damn it. Cubone's... I'm pretty sure Cubone's bone does, uh... Three damage. Did I get him? I got him. Okay, we don't need to go back and save. Ooh. I've made you guys sit through enough re... Uh, resets enough. Oh, heck! Goddamn exit! It's blocked! No! I was so fucking close! Poop, poop, poop! Isn't there any escape path? Grr, I'm so sick of this. Let's get back. This leads nowhere. There must be something to get out of here. Uh-oh. An earthquake. That's why there is rubble which blocks the exit. But why now? Okay, let's get out. Oh, man. That was- this is definitely the hardest dungeon so far, that's for sure. The fact- like, I can't prepare for the enemy's ranged attacks because they move randomly. There's no pattern to, like, figure out. It's using, like, the RPG Maker stuff. Like, I've I've even messed around with this specific function myself. It's an, op it's an option you can check to make them always prioritize moving towards the player, but sometimes they just move randomly so that they don't get stuck. So they'll just move towards the player, but like every certain amount of steps or so, it'll just be like, they'll just pick a random uh, direction to move towards first. Like, go towards the player, and then I'll go right all of a sudden. Or, uh, down. Anyways, what's this? Hey, who are you? Come on, tell me. Hey, lady, if you don't want to talk with me, then get out of my way. I got important things to do. I met a lot of freaks in the past hours. You are Drake. Yeah? Cool. So? How did you find that out? You are Giovanni's son. Damn. How'd you find out? Tell me. I saw you. Dying. You try to scare me? If it's so. And I gotta tell you that you definitely met the wrong guy. The hell you want from me don't interfere in this incident let it happen everything is forgone <laughs> silver i mean drake what are you talking about do you consume drugs or something time to go i hope we won't see each other again oh boy another gym leader girl who like shows up said something and then just disappears who the heck was that and how did she know who I am? I will think about that matter later. Let's head back first. Oh boy. Gotta be a good bean for YouTube. Don't want to say no mean words anyway. Hey, clock tower's back. Everybody hide the scissors. Everybody just pick up a rock. That'll keep them away. Are there any Pokemon or something wandering around? Taking them out would be good. No, it looks like it's not. Let's get out. Drake, you're already back, so how's it looking? Pretty unexpected. The tunnel to Lavender Town is blocked by rubble. There's no way through. Yeah, and after that, some crazy bitch appeared. I was talking about some weird stuff. Okay, you mean a survivor? Yeah, but I think she wasn't 
all right in her head. A girl that had a piercing gaze with her crazy purple eyes. S sounds like Sabrina. So, and that is... The gym leader of Saffron City. I was wondering what happened to her. You know her? Does she always talk such bullshit? Uh, well, she is a little weird. But that's no secret, though. Every citizen of Saffron City knows that. She's a master of psycho Pokemon. Some say she can predict the future. And I say that's just a rumor. Well, I don't know. I, I mean, she is a gym leader and knows how to handle psycho Pokemon. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they mean psychic Pokemon. I don't know why it's translated like that. I think that means something. Anyway, I'm glad you're back unscathed. No one should die anymore. Hey, um, this Andre who came with you guys, what happened to his arm? That wound seems to be really fresh. He had an accident. His arm bruised and was cut off. Oh my, it's not good to hear. I almost thought he was bitten. No, everything's fine with him. They mustn't know that Andre was bitten or they'll kick us out. All right, uh, I'm sure we'll find another way out. Hope our two guys are back soon. Shouldn't be too long. We can talk about an escape plan later. Mike asked me to ask you something. He wants you to do him a favor. I think he's too shy to ask you in person. Talk to him if you have the time. All right, maybe later. Well, I'm glad that section's over and done with. Oh, hi, Drake. I think Myra told you that I found something out. Did you notice the soda machine over there? Contains a lot of drinks, and we could need those as long as we're here. Yeah. Uh, so, what's the matter? The matter is, the soda machine is out of order. And, yeah, we already tried to break it open, but it didn't work. The soda machine is just break-proof. Like I said, we need those drinks. Soda machine was frequently filled with drinks from a company that's near the Silfco building. I think there should be something like a master key that can open the soda machine. We should be set for life if we could get those drinks. He... Uh, what kind of reward do I get? What do you want? I'm certain that there are some things in there your Pokemon could need. It'd be a big advantage for all of us if we managed to open the soda machine. Please, would you get us the key for the soda machine? Sounds great, I'll do it. This thing with those drinks sounds good. Alright, I'll get the key to the soda machine. Super duper. It'll be totally worth it. Company that's managing the soda machine has good connections with my company. That's why they gave us a key to their building. Boy, everybody just gives a key to everybody in this universe. Pokesoft key from Mike. Ha. Ha, yeah. A company's name is Pokesoft. Never liked that name either. And where exactly is the building? When you're in front of the Silfco building, then head to the right. It's the second one. Just get us the keys so we can unlock the soda machine. Fun fact, with some old vending machines, you can just buy a key on eBay to open them. Really? Is that a thing people do? There's no way that can be, like, legal. Oopsie. Make a save. Okay, he's gonna move like a little crusty. Get over here. Bro, does anybody want to move properly? Cool. Oh. That was totally cool. There we go. Let's take them all out and make a save. We gotta play it safe here. Is it just me, or is it, like, the enemy movement getting more random now? Dude. Walk over here! I'm begging you! Mm-hmm. If I had to reset the game to make it more run more smoothly... Oh, is that a thing? I mean, I've gone back to the... <clears throat> I've gone back to the title screen a few times. Is that what you mean? Or do I have to physically, like, close it all the way? Is that one of those things where it has so many things running in the background and never shuts them down unless you, like, hard close the game? Was that a thing in the old playthrough? I don't remember. 
Okay, I got him. Believe I ran into this problem last time. I mean... Come on. Squishy noise. Okay, everything's safe here. Make a quick save. Do that. If that's the case, hang on. I'll, I'll go ahead and reset the game then. Boop. That might fix things. Um... It got super... It did, it did mess up last time. People are saying that hard resetting the, the program will uh, make this work a little better, so let's try it. I probably don't notice because it gradually gets slower as the game goes on for hours. I mean, I have been playing for, um... Three hours, so probably. Hang on a second. It opens in full screen, so I'm just gonna move all the windows around again. Let's do this. Got it's just about set up. Okay, you can see it again now, I hope. Still recording. I don't know if this will make a real difference, but let's go for it. Let's go into the Pokesoft building. Pokesoft Drinks Company, your partner for drink distribution. Door unlocked. Darn it, I tried turning to the side. I don't know if I really feel a difference, to be honest. And the water still went right through the enemy. It kind of feels exactly the same. I'm not sure that did anything. Mm. I was going to straight up stop playing the game in the old playthrough, but in the next episode it magically fixed itself, probably because I reopened the game. Oh. I don't know. Maybe it got really bad on my old PC or something? I'm not sure. Trash. What's this music? Sounds like Mystery Dungeon music. Is this a dungeon theme from Mystery Dungeon? Can't quite tell. Let's get through it. Okay, good. Snake's down. There's an item there. What? Excuse me? Oh, Barry. It's very faded, yeah. Well, I took one damage from that. Soda machine key. At least my healing items are piling up. We got the key now. Let's get out of here. Trash. Info to all employees, just to remember. The secret ingredient of our drink, Pokasoft, is top secret, and no one else but this company should know about it. We would lose our jobs if so. I'm sure most of you know that the secret ingredient of the Pokasoft drink our slowpoke tails we get regularly from our provider. We get these tails from certain groups we don't want to mention at this point. They get us the tails from the slowpoke well that's located in Azalea. Slowpoke tail provides the sweet extract that is mainly responsible for the drink's flavor. Pokasoft is worthless without that extract. This information has to stay secret because A. It's illegal to cut off the tails of slowpokes. B. Our competitors would kick us off the business if they'd get this valuable info. Your discretion depends on your job. Signed from Supervisor Marty Foster. I love when people write about their crimes in detail and then sign their name on the bottom. How convenient. <laughs> Dear Diary, today I committed crimes. Written by John Mr. Crime. Out of order. Soda machines are empty. Soda machines are empty. Just like how Umbrella puts their logo on, uh... What?! Oh, you saw that, too. Remember, Slash causes knockback. Bullshit, it does. 
That was horse crap right there, dude. I hit him directly with the melee. It registered the hit and everything, but then he still hit me instead of getting knocked back. I'll steal it so no one will ever know. <laughs> exactly. Ah, whatever. Well, it seems like the game is still working the same. I want to say that maybe, like, um, it caused issues on my old computer more quickly. The game just really is that janky, let's be real. Hello, Drake. Yo, let me guess. Oh, I didn't talk to Mike yet. <laughs> He's the one that wants the machine thing. Let me guess, chances to leave this town are decreasing, right? You go like a bull at the gate. Yeah, I recently heard that one before. I have to admit, it doesn't look well this time. I hope our guys are back soon. I wouldn't rely on them. There must be a way to avoid that system. Hmm, there's some guy in Saffron City. Some sort of hacker. A young man who knows how to handle computer systems and stuff like that. He's well known in Saffron, but nobody goes knows him in person. He's some weird guy. Maybe you could help us? If he's still alive. Some nerd who's always sitting in front of the PC. Great. And some guy like that is supposed to bring us out of here. Who else should we ask? Either this boy or we still wait for the rest of our group that's still out there. Where does this computer freak live? Do you want to give it a try? Of course. Sitting around here and waiting won't help. Hmm, okay. Do you remember when you entered Saffron City from the south entrance? You can see his house uh, when you're at the south entrance and head to the right. Believe me, he's a weird guy. Everybody's trying to avoid his house. Some people he is staring at the... Some people say he's staring at the passing people. That's so creepy. I've seen a lot of freaks tonight. No problem for me. But you accidentally don't have the key to enter his house, right? No, of course not. Maybe he's opening the door for you. I wish you luck. All right, see you later. Hey, Drake. Were you successful? Yeah, guess what? Found the key. What? Really? And let's open the soda machine now. Hmm, the guy from the maintenance always put the key in there and... Press that button. Uh, okay. That's true, some companies would get sued over stuff they do in their internal emails, because they are that dumb. <laughs> People are that dumb. Ah, it's open. I think that should be enough drinks for a while. Hmm? This one isn't supposed to be in here. I feel like I'm whole back yard here. Seems like the maintenance has mistaken something. Is there a problem? There is a bottle between those drinks that doesn't belong here. It's a bottle that contains mystic water. Here. Could be useful for your Pokemon. Mike gives Drake the mystic water. I see. Mystic water. I heard that it makes po uh, Pokemon more powerful. It's good to gain some more strength. Am I right, Croc? Toto, Totodile. Here you are. Drake gives Croc the Mystic Water. Toto. Croc learned Hydro Pump. Croc can now use Hydro Pump when Croc's special PB bar is full. Press S to use Hydro Pump. Enemies you'll hit will be thrown back and receive double damage if it hits them. You press while the uh, bar isn't full, then Croc will just use Water Gun. Toto. The stronger we are, the better it is. I think we're done here. Thanks for bringing us the key. I think our chances to survive raised by getting those drinks. I go back to my place. Hey, Drake. What's up? It's some well-deserved Pokesoft drink? Okay, then. Now let's go find the, the nerd guy. Make a save. Clock tower music. Bobby's gonna start chasing us at any moment with his giant scissors. Locked. What do we do now? Just knock or what? Toto. And... Great. What now? Sounds like someone unlocked the door. Let's get in. Okay, then. Resident Evil 3 music? Sounds like it. Sounds like cutscene music. 
Here we are. I knew it would look like this. What a nerd. Hey, freak. <laughs> hey, you. I love how the karma options are like, do you want to kill Lu Lieutenant Surge? Bad karma. You're going to call this guy a freak? Bad karma. Because, you know, those are two definitely the same thing, worth the same amount of points, right? Hey, you. Hey, you. Did you just open the door for us? Max Karma. Yes, that was me. I observed you through the camera that's installed on my door. So, then the rumors are true. What rumors? I know a lot of rumors about me. The funniest rumor is that the people claim I'm working for Team Rocket. It's a very amusing what the people think about me. Actually, I mean the rumor that you're observing the people through a camera. Whatever. This has a certain reason. I don't want any strangers in front of my door. And of course, no zombies as well. I knew that some horrifying disease would happen. Heh. <laughs> and I'm absolutely prepared. That is why I just let a random stranger inside of my home without any possible, any, like, any verification here. But when I'm talking about a disease, then I mean rather a flu and not an apocalypse. I see. You are prepared. Your fridge was all empty when I passed by. Ah, uh, yeah. Some guy usually provides me food. Yeah, yeah. I never actually leave my house. The air outside is too dirty. But not as dirty as your hair. What? What'd you just say? Nothing. Never mind. Listen, somebody told me that you're a brilliant hacker. And the fact you could unlock those gates. I just want to get out of the city. Hmm. Who said that I'm a brilliant hacker anyway? A girl named Myra. Oh, a girl? Is she hot? Does she like nerds like me? Now listen to me, you clown. We have to get out of this city before we all bite the dust. And you're thinking about girls who could like you. I mean, you. Really? Ah, uh, um, yeah. But, uh, oh, are you in a group? Are there a lot of people there? Yes. We got a lot of people over there. It's in the office building. The building where documents of the whole city are stored. Yeah, exactly. Hmm, sounds interesting. Yeah, much better to rot here without any groceries. Oh. Ugh. And this damn earthquake. Now, yes, I noticed it before. I recently hacked the Earthquake Gauge device. The weird thing is that the source of the Earthquake is beyond the Silphco building. That's not normal. And the Earthquake intensity raises every time. The whole city is going to shatter if the Earthquake keeps on. If this happens, then we got an apocalypse outside. We can't stay in any house. Wow, great. What do you have more bad news? Not yet. I could open the Silphco building when I was in the office. The computer network there has the same domain. Then I could look for what's the reason for this. Okay, you'll come with me. Uh, yes, I wish I had some groceries left. By the way, what's your name? My name? Oh, it's been a few years since someone asked me what my name is. The people usually call me nerd, super nerd, hacker, or yeah, yeah, come to straight to the point. My name is Sebastian, and you? Drake, and now let's get out of here. Uh, of course! Sebastian joined the party. Drawn in the background and you can't tell which dialogue is me making a joke or actually him. <laughs> no. I, I was saying all the dialogue. I wasn't really making jokes there. Cupboard contains a lot of burnt CDs. <gasps> He's pirating? No, we gotta leave him behind, chat. He probably has some illegal games there. Worst of all, he probably has a bunch of Super Nintendo ROMs or something like that. He can, let's leave him here to die. Right there, that's how we get the good karma with the Nintendo. A lot of computer programs are running. Certainly some hacker tools. Only thing I see are some weird code lines and digits. And this is what he did the whole day. Congratulations. Sorry, Drake, for having hobbies. I think this is a server rack or something. Not interested. Books about computer programming. Seems like Sebastian barricaded the windows. Books about computer programming. Trash. The fridge. It's empty. Nobody bought groceries in this universe. That's pretty messed up, bro. 
A notebook. Who knows? Maybe I'm gonna going to steal it when I come back. I'm sure I could sell it at a high price in the black market. Does it mean notebook is in like a type of laptop? I think he does. Okay. Oh, nice. Oh, here comes Magnemite, where it just randomly gets a surge, a bit of a burst forward. Oh, great. No! Dude. Dude! Go! Oh, I can't with this game anymore, man. I'm taking so many unfair hits, I hate it. Ah. Whatever. We just have to deal with it. Come on. I... Why won't they ever just turn the damn corner? It's not safe to go up to them. Ever. And it goes through them. What's my HP at? 17. I'll just have to deal with it. I'm not mashing through the cutscene again. Come on. Okay, we got him. Let's just get rid of everything while I have a chance. Okay, I got him. Let's get him out of here. Oh. Oh my god, I just re I just realized what this track is. I finally got it. It's the options menu from Resident Evil 3. It's kind of an obscure track, but um yeah, the options menu for Resident Evil 3, you can only access it from the title screen. Finally recognized it. There we go. Anyway. Well, we're here. Wow, I'm actually in the office building. I've always dreamed of it, but there are so many humans. He doesn't see the daylight that often. Oh, hello. Welcome back. Yeah, I brought you that computer freak. <laughs> I guess the clients and servers are upstairs, right? Um, what? The PC stuff is upstairs. Yeah? Um, yeah. Sure. Don't you want to introduce yourself? Ah, yeah, Sebastian. Nice to meet you, or so. Okay, he's gone. And he's gone. He really doesn't like to talk with people. There, we got him. Computer freak. I hope he's useful, so we can get out of here. I'm sure he can help us with that one. He mentioned the earthquakes earlier. He knows where it comes from. He said it comes from the Silfco building. So, that's weird. You should talk to him, because I won't. My assignment's done. <laughs> you are right. I'll try to talk to him. Thank you, Drake. Oh, we cutting ahead? We gonna get jump scared in a dream again? What's wrong with you, father? Why did you disappear? What kind of secrets do you have to hide? What are you up to? And why did you contact me today of all days? Today when I arrived in Kanto. I'll come to Viridian City. This odyssey will end tonight. And help those people survive. Is to do something good for them. I'm not far away, father. Another track I can't pinpoint. Oh. Seems like Myra's back. Let's talk to her. Let's make another save. I'll keep saving on two. We're good. Oh, Drake! Is there something new? Did this guy find out how we can get out of here? N uh, no. Not yet. But I talked with him about the earthquakes. He typed something onto the computer. This building is connected to the Silfco. He explained it to me, but I don't know how this computer stuff is working. But he found out the source of the earthquakes is in the cellar of the Silfco building. And that another disaster will happen in Saffron City if the earthquakes go on. But he doesn't exactly know what is causing those earthquakes. Maybe some machine has a malfunction or something. Silfco has a lot of machines and chemicals that never have been tested. That's why this is dangerous. Ooh, pardon me, a home back sees there. I see, the Silfco building. Guess we can't handle a second disaster. Uh, yeah. Sebastian said that he opened the Silfco with a computer. You want me to go down there? Um, no. I, I didn't want you to think that. 
my life does matter too, so I will go down there too. Let's see what I can find. Um, okay. If you really want to do that, but please take care, Drake, okay? Yeah, whatever. I think this won't be a big deal. See you around. Yo, Drake! This rat of a million, better than nothing, right? I think we all made a big step. Looks like there isn't really anything new from them. I think this is a boss fight, if I remember correctly. I should be okay. What? I think I'm most of the way through the game now, right? Like, maybe more than 75% done? Seems like the Sylphco building was hit by the plague, too. I think, like, my old playthrough was, like, a five hours long. But obviously that had a lot more frustration and resetting, I'm assuming. That guy just floated in the water is so great to me. Can't go upstairs. Out of order. Anything to pick up? Aha! Hold up, can I check you? No. Oh, nice, a berry. I guess I can save in here. Uh-oh. More hallways, huh? Antidote. Let's have a look. Aha, this part. I seem to recall this making me rage. Let's see if a controller will help. Oh, crap. How could this Ariados become so huge? This monster started the rampage. It's the cause of the earthquakes. We have to fight it. Whoa! It's the Sentret! It came back to repay the favor. Hey, it's that Sentret we saw earlier. It's like the dog in Resident Evil 4. Does it want to help us? All right. I'll get cover. Kill it. Toto. Let's do it. Oh, hang on a second. I gotta turn this down, just in case it gets... Wait, what? The menu doesn't pause this? Okay, then. Wait. If I... No way. No way. It can't be that simple. It can't be that simple. Does it really work like this? Bro, it does. <laughs> I could just sit here and let it let it die of natural causes by Sentret. I think I'm, I think it's time for a stretch. Hang on a second. Hang on a second, chat. I've been sitting down for a few hours. I think uh, it's good to make my back a little more limber. Stretch those muscles. Oh, hydrate. Good idea. Let's get some water. I've been doing a lot of talking today. How is Totodile taking damage? This isn't working. You are dead. That doesn't work. <laughs> How was I getting hit? The earthquake? How does the earthquake hit me? How am I supposed to be safe from it? I'm confused. I'm actually don't understand why that was hitting me. Well, we know it doesn't work. Okay, let me just leave the volume low, because it just plays this really loud rock track that I don't recognize, so... It might get claimed like the Dusk one did. Maybe I just have to beat it fast? It was funny when I thought it was working. Let's do it. I'll get cover. Kill it. Hang on. 17. Uh-oh. Damn it! Of course it knocks me out of the way. Oh, I can't walk any forward. I have to use the water. Dude, what? Ser seriously? My controls get messed up when it hits me with the poison sting. That's pretty la- that's pretty ass. I'm confused what's even hitting me, to be honest. 
Is it possible the spider is still moving, but the sprite stays in place? So I'm actually getting hit by the spinner rack while uh, I'm sitting there pa it, sitting there paused? Maybe. Is it confusing me? Because I don't see the symbol there. This part's very crusty, so let's just get it over with. I might have to finally use those healing items I've been hoarding the whole game. No. It would be really cool if I could hit the freaking enemy. That would be a really cool feature that, that maybe implement in a future version. That, that's real cool too. Well, time to reset. Maybe if you open the menu... Oh. I think I hit exit. Maybe if I open the menu before the spider appears. Oh, that's the wrong teddy screen. Hang on. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I hit exit by mistake. Oh, dude, this fight is so bad. Let me try this. I'm going to try and use the exploit before um, Spinarak appears. There's not enough space to turn your character um, for the small spiders. Okay, it opens in full screen, so I just have to awkwardly move everything again. Hang on. Let me try. Reopen the game. Come on now. Boop. Say goodbye to the bear. Okay, we're back. Let's see if that's what's, what's working. You're right. So as soon as the fight starts, I'm going to open up the menu because I think... When you pause the game, it stops the spinner rack sprite, but the, sp the, mo the actual enemy is still moving around. So we'll see if that works. Because fighting this thing legit is the most un th unfun thing ever. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I've tried. Does it want to help us? All right. Okay. Menu has been opened. Nope, the earthquake is hitting me. Come on. I can't do it, so I have to hit it. Dude! This is so unfair! I literally can't even knock it back in this space if it gets to me. Come on. Nope. Okay. I'm dying. I have to take a berry, I guess. Come on. Dude, I can't. I can't with this fight. This is so bad. Not only that, the attacks are now delayed or something. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, it's done. So, I don't think you can actually avoid damage. Whenever the screen shakes, you take one damage no matter what. So, I'm going to turn it back up. It seems like, yeah, you just have to kill it fast and have full health, it, near full health when you go into the fight. There's no way around it. Ugh. It seems like I was confused sometimes. Jump option? <laughs> no. No jump button in this game. Yeah, seems like we managed the situation. The centric ran away. Unbelievable that it followed us this far. I left a berry for its family and it helped us in return. Seems like we're even again. Time to go back. We still gotta find a way out of the city. The Sentret helps speed the fight up a little bit, yeah. Okay. 
I can't go in the little hole where they come out there. See, the problem is I, I can't turn in this game. I can only take a step in that direction to reorient myself. So having this space right here to dodge the, the needles while the mini spiders come at me is like literally impossible. I have to take damage. Damn. I'm gonna have to use that full heal at Nurse Joy. I had to use a berry to get through that as well. Ah, whatever, it upset me. Point is, we got... What? Why did it use an attack when I walked out? Whatever. Let's see... Are there any new enemies? It's raining now. I've been picking up as many items as I can along the way. Okay, looks like there's nothing new. So let's go back. Nurse Joy is gonna have to heal me up. Hello, Drake. Hey, there's a guy there. Earthquakes are gone. I think we owe you this one. Yeah. An infected Pokemon was the reason. But it's gone now. Oh, sounds great. Our two boys are back. Did they find something out? Something like an escape route? Unfortunately, no. But I'm glad they're back and alive. This klutz over there. Is this one of your boys? Yeah. Uh, that's Henry there. I'd be a little careful. He's pretty arrogant. And I've noticed that he's slightly aggressive. But he brought us a lot of supplies, and we're all thankful for that. Oh, the other guy is Black Belt Ralph upstairs. He's pretty cool. You could say he's the exact opposite of Henry. You should talk to him. Yeah, I'll talk to him. All right, I'll talk to him if I have the time. Coolio, I think he's got something that might help you. Max Karma, baby. Anyway, thank you for solving the problem with the earthquakes. Yeah, but think about that fact. We are still trapped in the city. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm certain we'll find a solution sooner or later. Sebastian is still working on something. Handyman music? Is that what that is? Oh, I hope that doesn't get claimed. Was that what the outside theme was? Well, we'll cross that bridge when we upload it. Sebastian's still working on something. Yeah, I hope so. Hey. Hey, Drake. Come over here, please. Oh, I actually hit the button there. We're risking our lives out there to get food supplies for you asswipes. I know what I had to do after the breakout. Collect supplies and look for some safe place. No matter what it takes. Keep that in mind, little... Oh, okay, bro. What'd you just call me? Now stay out of my sight. Yeah, you're welcome, ass. Yeah, what's up? Hey, it's good that you take some time for me. You really like Myra, hmm? Huh? Come on, admit it. Even a tough guy like you might fall in love with some pretty girl. You don't talk to her so harsh like you talk to us. Believe me, I noticed the difference. Don't talk such bullshit. <laughs> um, so, uh, Lucas wanted to talk to you about something. Something seems to be wrong with him. He doesn't even have the courage to come down here to us. That's weird, isn't it? What's wrong with, uh, this slow coach this time? I don't know. But he said he has to talk to you. Just go upstairs to him, okay? He said it's very important and affects all of us. Yeah, yeah, I'll talk to this little whiner. Hey! You're Drake, right? Seems like I am. Heh. <laughs> yeah. Heard you took care of the people, or, uh, Pio Piolopa. I <laughs> spelled it wrong. People when we're not here. Pretty cool of you. More or less. No false modesty. I'm sure you noticed that I'm a karate practitioner. I'm from the Saffron City Dojo. My master and the other students are on some journey. They got out of here before all this happened. I'm the only karate practitioner left. I think this wouldn't have happened if my master was here. You say so. Hey, Drake. You look like some guy who could need a little help. No. Come on. You don't even know what I want to offer. Our karate master stashed some useful stuff in our dojo. Our master usually gives these things to trainers, but I'm sure he'd give them to you as well. Now it sounds much more interesting. Yeah, but there's one problem, though. We got two useful items in a dojo, but you can only get one. You take one of the items, then the other disappears. Is that some sort of joke? No. Believe me. I wouldn't have a problem if you want to take both items. But our master always says the greed of humanity shall not gain the upper hand. 
That's why. So, you want to go to the dojo and get the useful items? Sounds good. I'll go to the dojo. Great. It'll be worth it. Here, take the key. I kept it for my master. I think he wouldn't mind if I gave it to you. Got the dojo key from Ralph. Okay, I'll take a stop at the dojo. Dojo's in the northeast of the city, next to the gym. Ah! Uh, hello, Drake! Simon said you wanted something. Do it fast. I don't have much time. Down there. This guy. What guy? The big strong man. You mean Henry? Yeah. You remember when I got robbed? They took my food, drinks, and other things? And this... Henry. He robbed me with some other guy. What are you saying? Henry was in Vermilion City? And we got some guy like him in here. I'm gonna tell it to Myra. Yes, but... Please don't drag me into this. I don't want to get in trouble. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. I won't let him threat threaten you. I promise. That's very kind of you. Thank you, Drake. Henry? Is it true what Drake just told me? Did you rob Lucas when you were in Vermilion City? I didn't even fucking know he's part of our group. I did it for us. That's why we're surviving here. Where are the other guys who were with you when you robbed Lucas? Michael and Dennis were with me. I see. That's why Lucas thought you're some kind of gang. Where are the other two guys? They died a few hours ago. They didn't make it. They were supposed to get us supplies from the Pokemart. Hmm. Please? Y you can't throw me out. There's a huge massacre out there. You took Lucas' supplies without his permission. I mean, you robbed him. I don't even want to think about who else you hurt. What now? What should happen to him? You let me stay here. What else? Do you want me to die out there? You shut the fuck up. You! I think it would be a fair thing if we make a voting. A voting if Henry can stay here or not. This sounds like a fair solution, young man. Yes, that's what we're doing. We start a voting. Charles, what do you want for him? Should Henry stay here or be thrown out? Henry's just a young man who has too much ambition. He should get a second chance. Okay. Mike? Me? I had some cool conversations with him. He should stay here. I think he learned something today. All right, Nurse Joy. I'm honest, I don't want a person like Henry here in this house. Gets me nervous all the time. I'm for exile. Well, two for staying here, one for exile. And I vote for the exile of Henry. I'm scared he might hurt more people. Ugh. Andre, what do you want? I'm sorry, I don't want to decide. Okay, no problem. At least the votes are uneven and we'll get a clear result. Christopher? Yeah, he hurt one of my best friends. What should I say? Get him out. Okay. Three people want him to go, two who want him to stay. Simon, what about you? Shit, man. Away with him. He's dangerous. Well, Lucas? He can stay. What? Did you lose your mind? Think about what he's done to you. I, I know, but it's too dangerous outside. Isn't that a little harsh? Let him be. He already made a decision. Ralph, what do you think? Cha, our master used to say lost souls can be saved. He should get a second chance. Okay. Four people want him to stay. Four people want him to go. Next vote decides what's happened in the Henry. Drake, what do you want for him? Exile or second chance? Well, I have to be a good bean. I guess I have to be a good person. Being a good person is lame sometimes, though. We should cause some freaking chaos. Let's give him a second chance. He might be useful for us sooner or later. Five votes, let him stay here then. Thanks, but don't even think about hurting someone again. Yes, okay. Hello, Drake. I wondered, 
that what that you want to keep Henry here. I'm pretty nervous when he's close by. He won't do anything to you. Believe me, I'll take care of that. Thanks. So, uh, I was talking to Sebastian again. He said that he hacked another computer system. You know, he didn't call it computer system. He called it, um, I don't know. You know what I mean. Anyway, he said he now has access to certain buildings in the city. He wanted to unlock the train station. Drake, do you know what this means to us? We could take the Magna train and get out of here. What, the train station's open? If it's true, then I can finally reach my destination. I hope the train works. Yeah, so do I. I think I'll head directly to the train station. Oh wait, there's another thing. Sebastian said he could help you with something, but I don't know what he meant. Go upstairs and talk to him. Yeah, that's what I could do. Go to the train station and tell us if the train's working. If everything is fine, then we can escape from here, together. Yo, thanks that I may stay here. Here, I found this on the streets. Got a berry. Yeah, uh, we couldn't find more. Good luck and so. There we go. Hey, Drake, everything all right? Take care. I hope Vermilion City will be as it was before. Okay. Um, hang on. There could be an HP up in the dojo, so let me see if I can get that. That way I'll get more recovery out of, um, using the one full heal I have. Let's make a save. Second chances are for weenies! I don't know, chat. Would you give him a second chance? It's raining out right now, so that should boost things. So, the track that's playing right now, is it actually, like, the Candyman theme? Because I remember there was, like, one overworld theme that got claimed back in the day. That would really suck. Uh-oh. Damn it. Okay. Come on. No! No! Dude, I was trying to get out of there and save. That's so lame. Whatever, he's dead. Let's just see if I can get the HP up or something. Okay. Dojo key. Oh, hey. It's the Nightmare Invasion Lavender Meaty. This is an expert belt. I don't know what kind of kind of use this belt has. The other item will disappear if I take it. Um... It's locked in a little box with some mechanism. I think Ralph knows how to unlock it. The other item will disappear if I take it. Um, I feel like it's probably best to just take the, um, the HP up. Because I think the Ariados boss is the, the crustiest that it gets, right? Expert belt makes attacks do a little bit more damage in this. Hmm. Yeah, I, f yeah, I feel like I'm getting more bang for my buck if I go for the HP right now. Take the HP up. Sounds like the exit's been locked. Oh, give me a break. No, let me move first. Oh, infected fighting Pokemon. This one could be hard. Let's get rid of it. I can't afford to take any damage here. Is he gonna... Oh, that's lame. Okay. I need to pull this off. I need to get the HP up. And... Oh, wait, hold up a second. Did I get the berry from him? I need to get the HP up and the heal. You think I'm taking another step outside the door? Forget it. Okay, then. There we go. I need to kill these things, preserve the three health, and then I need to kill the Hitmonchan while getting the, uh, the HP up so I can use that that full heal to its maximum potential. Because if I get the HP up, it's not going to give me a heal off it. Maybe Hitmon Lee shows up if I take the left item, yeah. Okay, hang on. Okay. Okay, new zombie spawns are dead, so let's go back in. Make another save. And let's get it. I got the expert belt in my first playthrough, did I? 
So y'all remember this. I don't remember anything. Okay, there's an extra zombie down there, but who cares? Ugh. Let's see if I can do this. Come on. Hang on, can I just immediately move to the side here, I hope? Come on. Okay, good, I can walk behind the statues just fine. Okay, I can take one hit from it. I probably should have saved before I walked in here. Or before I picked up the item, yeah. That would have been the smart idea. Damn it! I don't know where that picture's from, but it looks spooky, don't it? Let's do it. Remember, because you watch it after I played, uh, did the Dusk replay a few days ago. Okay. Hang on. Yeah, I should be allowed to save before picking this up. This might be take a few ch uh, tries, but I really need that free heal. Let's focus. It looks that's pr the game over screen is probably just some fan art. Yeah. Oh, oh that 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 was real cool. I like that. <laughs> I love that. I like the part where I got to take two steps to the right and the battle ended. Let's go go go. Come on. Damn it. Shoot. Oh, that hit it somehow. No! It dodged the hydro pump. Crap. Oh, the random movement, bro. I hit it, I think. Come on, walk up, walk up. Come on. I did it. I can save again. Yep, time to use that one full heal. I can't use the HP up. Ralph has to open it for me. You must reap what you have sown. I think these words are wise and expose information about life. Change yourself depending on the enemy. Don't know what this means. Okay. Yeah, let's get out of here. Good golly. Let's talk to Ralph. We're back. Oh, glad you're fine. Uh, did you get something? Yeah, we took the HP up, but we had to fight a Hitmonchan before we could leave the dojo. Hitmonchan? Oh my gosh! You are pretty lucky you made it. There's nothing to do with luck. The HP up is in some sort of box with weird mechanics. Can you open it? Um, sure. Wait, um, so... Here. Brock received HP up. Your Pokemon's health raised. Pretty good when you have to face a lot of enemies. Seems the effort was, was uh, worthwhile. Yeah. Um. No problem. Too bad our master isn't here. He would know what to do. Okay. One out of 30. Let's do it. Hey, Drake. Pretty safe in here, but for how long? Hope the situation out there is getting better. Hello, Drake. I got enough supplies to heal your Pokemon one time. Do you want me to heal your Totodile? Yes. Okay, I'll take care of your Pokemon. By the way, Miner, do you know how long the um extra little scene episode thing is in um the Dusk remaster? Is that like its own special thing that could take like one or two hours, or is it like a ten minute scene? I don't actually know. Oh. Because it... Does anybody know? Because that'd be really helpful to know, because I might need to save that for the weekend if that's the case. Ahem. Hey. I said hey. Oh, oh, uh, what? Oops. Ah. Uh, hello. Myra said you got something for me. Um. Yes, right. I hacked the Active Directory and examined the accounts of the employees. Congratulations, the effort wasn't worth it. You could have asked Mike. 
He used to work here. No, no, I ha I checked Mike's account already. He doesn't have the permissions. Hey, did you know that he has a criminal record? I couldn't care less. So I got a digital key from one of those accounts. I couldn't open one building with this digital key. I got two choices. Either the Pokemon Center or the Pokemart. Ah. I could open one for you if you wish. The Pokemon Center may have a few medical supplies that you can give to Joy to take care of your Pokemon. But the Pokemart certainly has some items you can use any time. What do you think? Should I open one? Um... Pokemon Center is probably best overall. I don't need to heal on the fly. I'm hoarding all my items specifically for that, if needed later. All right, just a second. The Pokemon Center has been opened. Take everything you need there. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I generally don't know how long that could take. Like, it doesn't seem like anybody here has actually played it, so... Oh, I saved on two. I meant to save on three. Clock tower music. Pikachu! Okay, got him. Just in time. His center PC. You don't have any other Pokemon. Because I don't have the time to do, like, an, <laughs> a seven-hour stream today. So I might save it for the weekend. Oh, great. Hang on. We're gonna have to do this slowly. Uh-oh. It forces me to walk up when I do this. Come on, I need a good spot for this. There we go. Just looked at the remaster. It's a single four-part cutscene. Okay, so it's like something I can just watch for ten minutes. It's not actual thing to play. Did it hit me? I hope it didn't. Good. Damn it. I'm trying to get over here. Let's do it. Ah, it went through him again. It went through him again. Okay, it hit him that time. Okay, it killed him that time. Good. Medical supply. Let's bring this package to Nurse Joy ASAP. Just one? I was hoping for at least two. That's 30 HP right there, at least. Squishy. Looks like that's everything in here. Center PC. Okay, Candyman music again? I don't know. Either way, I shouldn't let this one play too long. Save on data three. Get it to Nurse Joy. Hey, Drake, what's going on? Got this from the Pokemon Center. Nurse Joy, the medical supplies. You able to use this? Oh, yes, of course. I can heal your Pokemon up to one time. Come back to me if you need my help. All right. Okay, looks good. 30 free HP right there. And now we're going to check, check the train. see here. Now, what music is this? Very low and quiet. Trash. Damn, train is gone. Yeah, it's in Goldenrod. But I have an idea. Let's follow the tracks outside. Maybe we can leave the city if we follow the tracks. Toto? Oh, crap. There's not a boss fight for this part, I hope. Keep off the track? You don't tell me where to go. Can't go that way. I'm gonna walk on it from here. Hang on. <sighs> no train there. Let's keep moving. There might be a way out. I can save in this room. Let's do it. And cut. Why are there bushes growing on the track? Oh, it's gonna thunder and lightning. Oh, that might be a little painful to look at if it happens too frequently. Looks like boulders fell down, too. More cut trees. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. No. Uh, this is gonna be a bit painful, isn't it? If I'm fighting an enemy, that's... Oh, no. Come on. 
Anyone recognize this music? There's nothing here. Almost sounds like something from Donkey Kong Country in a weird way. Now that you hear like the bass kind of kick in. Oh crap. What the hell is that? Uh oh! We are not able to fight them. Let's run back. Run! Oh, that thunder is loud. Uh oh. I shouldn't have cut those trees. Run! Oh, this is a little unfair. Oh, did I leave Drake behind? I did. I don't... Uh-oh. Oh, this is... Closing the goddamn door. No. Oh. We are so close to escape the city. Our opportunities are running out. Let's get back for now. Um... Yeah, I don't think I could really dodge some of that damage. I'm lucky I only got out of there with two hits, to be honest. That was a little bit crusty. Hold up. Let me see here. Hey, Drake. What's wrong? You're sweating. What's wrong? Frickin' Horde was chasing me. Forget the damn train station. The train's not there anyway. So what now? I... I, I don't know. I don't like... I don't know. So, there's only one chance left, and that only chance is the Silphco building. But I've been there already, why should I go there again? Sebastian came down to me in a euphoric mood <clears throat> and said he unlocked the upper floors of the building. Listen, Drake, Silphco has a lot of machines and chemicals. There must be something that can bring us out. But if you ask me, Drake, I wouldn't risk it. Why not? Silphco building is huge. I don't want to think about what else could be there when there was an, a huge infected Pokemon. I have to try. Drake, <clears throat> tell me, what is pushing you forward? You've tried everything so far. Even if the chances were low, don't get me wrong, I admire it. But what is the reason you want to leave this place so badly? It doesn't concern you searching for my father. If you really want to know, searching for my father. He left me a few years ago, and I think I found some trace of, uh, some trace that's leading me to him. Oh. I understand. Sorry, I didn't want to squeeze it out of you. No problem. I'm now on my way back to Silphco. I have to try this. Okay, but please prepare yourself well, okay? Oh, hint, hint, there's a boss fight there. Yeah, of course. Okay. Well, do you think I'm prepared enough, chat? Man, it's really been four hours. Let's have a look. What we got here? Doors up door upstairs is locked. He said that he unlocked the whole building. That moron. There must be a key around here to unlock the door. We should try to reach the top. There must be some info of a device that could get us out of here. Hang on. Okay, I can save down here. All right, Teddies, put your thinking caps on. It's time to get out of here. Damn it, okay. I have to regularly just reset the room over and over to make it safe. Have a look. Trash. Is everyone comfy and cozy? Come on. Any day now, you can figure out how to get around that corner. I feel like this is another track that Nightmare Invasion used. Or rather, another meaty that Nightmare Invasion used. Oops. Okay, we got them all. Squishy. Someone's head's on the on the table. Got a sylph key. Door unlocked. There is an F2 engraved in this key. Seems like I can only use it on this floor. Let's go back down and make another save. There's gonna be a long comfy upload when it's done. Oh. Well. My strongest attack just went right through him again. What else is new? 
I wonder if someone in the comments is going to count the amount of times that water gun went through an enemy. That'd be interesting to know the total. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, I took it out. Gotta carefully do this. Seems I'm about 80 to 90 percent done. Thank you, Minard. Oh, the hydro pump went through that exact same enemy again, bro. This is one of those games where I know I, I'm a little, I can get frustrated a little bit, but I know it's mostly, mostly not my fault. Oh, hang on. I actually went through twice. Okay, got him. Okay, didn't get him. This spit keeps missing. Boy, be spitting. Okay, got him. Well, he's stuck. Come on. Got him. I'm gonna go back down and save. Luckily, it's easy to get back to this, this floor. I can't imagine beating this in hardcore mode. How, don't you only get, like, three saves? That's too stressful, bro. Way too stressful. Sylph key. Darn. See, the trick is, if I would have ran for the key, those guys probably would have, like, flooded this little section here. So, not a good idea. Looks like there's nothing to pick up. I feel like there's a lot less items to pick up along the way compared to Dusk. Discarded the Sylph key. What we got here? This definitely isn't the Sylph building I remember. Okay, looks like I have to unlock these. This? What? Oh, I see. That's what the Pokemon statue does. Why is my phone going off here? Okay, it's nothing. We're busy. Hang on. Okay, good. Hit him hard. Hit this. Crash. Okay, got him. Oh, boy. More friends, but less items in this one. You're telling me. Okay, let me just get a drink of water. Door unlocked. I love that sprite of someone just, like, hunched over on the desk. Off! Let's get it. Or I could get it, if Water Gun would hit it. Okay. I've been good so far, so let's go back to the bottom floor. Let's do it. This reminds me of, like, uh, when you had to climb the shopping building, the shopping center in Nightmare Invasion. You kind of just had to clear a floor and go up a bit. In fact, I, now that I've mentioned it, I think there's actually another Nightmare Invasion reference somewhere in this building. I don't know if it's this floor. Okay, I want that to be like that, I guess. Oh, I let them out. Let's go deal with things. Hang on. Oh, there it is. It was actually that room right there. I swear I didn't. Look, there. It's it's John Blue right there. Damn it. Hang on. We can look. Appreciate the Easter egg in just a moment. Name a subject. Jack Blue. Oh, did I say John? I did. Jack Blue. Profession: former policeman. Origin: unknown. Obviously, the patient suffers from transient global amnesia. His scattered thoughts make him think that Pokemon are aliens and pistol bullets should generally fly through walls, no matter how thick the walls are. The subject will be uh, held and observed in quarantine. Well, I think we'll leave him in there. I think it's much safer in there anyway. Oh, I gotta reset the rooms again. Yeah. Jack Blue is the protagonist of, um, of Nightmare Invasion. And that's a cheeky reference of how his gun mechanics work in that game. Oh. Okay, leave that there. 
I'm really confused by that, why that works. Did I not just open that? I'm confused. Hold up. I hit this. I go over there. The door is open. Looks like he comes out here then. Come on. Here we go, got him. But now the door is closed. How did I get that stupid door open? I'm confused. Come on. Let me just check this PC over here. Yeah, I can't check it. I don't remember how I had this stupid door open. So... I hit this. I go in here. I guess I just close it and then this will open it again, right? Didn't I already try that, though? I guess it's open now, whatever. Leave him in there. He's got all the supplies he needs. Sylph key. Let's get the hell out of this place. Door unlocked. Growlithe is there. Oh my god. Of course he can just hop over that. Hello, Erica. How are you? Be nice. There you go. Okay, good. Took them all out. Looks like we got a lady there. Trash. Nothing else to pick up. Door is now open. And then we need to hit this to open that one. So now we have to take the, an annoyingly long path around. Or just doing this open it. Yeah, it does. Okay, perfect. Sylph key has got it down. Turned around too quickly. I think I should go back to the bottom floor and heal again. We're almost done. I can see how some of these rooms were reimagined from original Sylph. Let's do it. We're almost near the end, and then we'll probably take a little break while we... Miner, are you still capable of setting up the, um, the save files for the other endings, like, during the same stream, or should I save that for another time? Yep, okay. Then we can take a break while you do that, and then I'll do the bonus scenes. Door unlocked, discarded the sylph key. Okay, this isn't the top yet. I hear poison shots. Doesn't look like there's anything to pick up. A garden? Wish I had a freaking indoor garden. The crap is awesome. Damn, two shots missed. Okay, poison sting. Oh! <sighs> Fantastic, even. Accidentally, like... <sighs> Dude! Really, now? Am I, like, confused all of a sudden? Why the hell was I moving like that? Oh! Water gun actually goes through the trees? It wasn't before. Okay. Oh, I gotta wait for the cut thing to fill up. No problem, we'll keep going. Almost there. Yeah, give me some of that cheese! Looks like that dude was stuck here. Star, you broken up that way. And now we play the waiting game. Wait for the meter to fill up so we can cut the tree down. I don't really know why. Probably do that so you can't just make a run for it. Come on. All right, there we go. Self key. Oh. Ah! 
Sylvco Super Biotop. Ope. Top. Project of Sylvco for researches of Pokemon in a natural habitat. I don't think I need to kill him. I can just leave him there. Looks like we're not quite done yet. Oh, it's a Cubone. Cubone does do two damage. I was mistaken about it doing three. Did it hit me? I'm actually not sure. Okay, got him. Take a look there. Well, I sure hope this is the right one. It looks like I opened that. Got him. Now, I assume I gotta... Oh, okay. Okay, that didn't work, so if I hit the, this one... Okay, good. Looks like I solved it. Just look for the key that's always hidden at the end. Sylph key. Hmm. I feel like I should go back and make a save now. Don't know if it's going to give me the opportunity to save. Because I feel like the top floor is going to be a fight. I can't remember any other boss fights aside from the, um... Aria dose, though, so we'll see. This is also a much easier trek back to make than the underground cemetery. Whew, this is already much longer than dusk, yeah. And I missed. Okay, gotcha. Lead him into the choke point. Okay, could you come over here, please? Come on. Okay, got him. Everybody's been dying here, apparently. Trash. How do people, like, go to work here when they have to play with the funny statues? Like, who are they trying to keep out? They're the Selfco, not Umbrella. Okay, good. I was really worried. I was trapped, so he could give me some really bad movement. Okay. Looks like that's the answer. Sylph key. Well. There can't be any more floors after this, could there? Surely this gotta be, like, the last one. Oh, no, we're still going. Only one thing to activate here. Okay, that's easy enough to figure out. No enemies to kill. They're trying to keep- Wait, that's a Pokegear song? X and Y immediately. Wait, I just- The door is already open. They- They put that there thinking I'm just gonna autopilot go for- I didn't even think to check. Mm, the door was open the whole time. Oh, I can save here. Perfect. Whatever. Uh, they have the extra security to keep out Team Rocket. You know what? Fair enough. This is technically like three years after that, so yeah. The president. What music is this now? I think I said the same thing in the OG playthrough. See, I don't remember. I don't remember everything I said six years ago. Uh, can't talk to him? Oh my goodness! I didn't expect anyone to come here. I almost thought the rotten ones would come up here. And I didn't expect some fat guy with a bald head up here. Seems like we both got disappointed. Um, what? Are you not sent by any rescue units? Do I look official? Uh, no. Then I'm not a guy from a rescue unit. Listen here, I didn't come for you. I need something to get out of the city. To get out of the city? You mean out of Saffron? To escape from this apocalypse? Yeah. What about official entrances of Saffron City? The south entrance to Vermilion's open, but the apocalypse is spread there as well. Oh my. What's with the ship? Could we use the ship, the SS Anne? No. The whole crew is dead. We can't move that ship. Before you ask, even the way Lavender Town's unaccessible. The ground got teared apart. 
Oh, I think the Diglets Cave did this. Uh, yes, Diglets dig themselves deep into the ground every time they get nervous or something. That's the reason why light tremors happen. Back then, when I was a kid, I used to play around in the Diglets Cave. That's why I know this. Ah? Huh? But the Diglets Cave is blocked by rubble. There's no way through. It was blocked, you say? I think I got something to deal with that. Yes, we developed something. A, a pretty new impulse device. Our scientists made this, but it's still a prototype. I still got it with me because it's as valuable as the Master Ball. It would be possible to get rid of the rubble. Finally, someone with a good solution that might work. Give this device to me. Y yes no problem. Firstly, I want to get out of this building and find some place safe. Do you understand? I see. I'll take you to the office building, then you give me that impulse device, okay? There's a lot of other survivors in the building. Sounds very interesting. My name is Martin, by the way. I'm the CEO of Silphco. Yes, now follow. I don't want to hang around any longer. Alrighty. Okay, then. Let's get him out. Can't check anything here. Okay. Any enemies coming this way? Okay. Just keep going to the bottom. I don't think anything's gonna show up. It seems safe down here. Make another save. What? Did I just knock him over the fence? I can do that? Oh, damn you. Hang on. Okay, no more extra hits right now. My health is too high to worry about this. Okay. Can't shoot over the fence, no. Hang on, I killed one. Uh, no, I'm trying to save here. Go back out. Okay, you're dead. Clock tower music playing! Oh, I ain't playing with these guys. I can't take any more damage. Probably could just use that Nurse Joy heal, actually, at this point, so... Come on. The lightning's gonna wreck me, too. I won't be able to see when they random turn. Come on. I think this is specifically the version of the Clock Tower theme that plays at the end of the game. When the credits roll. No, you don't need to tell me things, it's okay. Come on. I probably wouldn't do a full hardcore run, though. That would be a bit silly. I feel like if I try a hardcore run, I'm just gonna die. Oh, because my attacks won't hit the enemies half the time. Taking the... While I have a second, I'm clearing the this place out. So it's safer to move through. Uh-oh. What's going on here? Myra, what's up? What's wrong with Charles? Hey, Drake. Charles. He was... He was murdered. What the hell happened here? It was Henry. He and Charles were in an argument. Oh, who saw this coming? But sorry, it was the good karma to let him stay. And then I saw Henry suddenly choking Charles. It was so horrifying. Nurse Joy confirmed that he was choked to death by Henry. <sighs> I should have known he was dangerous. Seems like we couldn't save a soul. Where's Henry now? I don't know. He ran out. Hmm. I think he's hiding. Who is this? Ah. Hello. Martin, CEO from Silphco. Oh, I see. He said he can help us getting the Diglett's Cave free. Really? But I got some bad news, Drake. 
The south entrance of Saffron got locked. Richie just called me. What? No. Damn it. I think we should pay Charles our last respect. Let's talk later, Drake. All because I was a nice guy. Such a terrible thing, what human beings do to other people. Charles was just an old, innocent man. We should have thrown Henry out. Charles would be alive. He couldn't have known this. Regarding the south entrance of Saffron, why is it locked? Richie said that the entrance was locked from Saffron City. So that means it wasn't that asswipe, Lieutenant Surge. Hmm? What do you mean? Never mind. Sabrina, the gym leader of Saffron City, has some switch in her gym. That crazy bitch I met re recently? Why does everyone try to make my life harder? Do you think I can easily enter the gym? Hmm. Good question. Sebastian said it is impossible to hack the gym. I don't know how to enter the locked gym either. We'll see. Brock, let's go to the gym. Toto. Hey, Drake, everything all right? Take care. Hello, Drake. Everything is fine. Feeling a little dizzy due to the blood loss. Move, Meryl. Move, Meryl. Hey, Drake. What's up? That's some well-deserved Pokesop drink. Okay. Make another save. So am I actually able to go find Henry right now? They want me to go to the gym, but... I don't remember if you can... Because I don't know if I kept let him stay inside last time. He wouldn't be able to leave Saffron, so... Locked. Richie's just trapped in there now. Let's have a look around. Just double check the buildings. Nope, don't see him anywhere. Hold up a second. Let me see here. Locked. Can't open the Pokemon at all. Locked. Bulbasaur! Come on. Okay, I got the Bulba. Okay, it's dead. I wonder if he just kind of shows up here or something. No, there's no reason to really go all the way down here just to see if he shows up. Check the previous locations. He doesn't appear to be anywhere. Maybe the dojo? Nope. Unless he ran into, like, um... Yeah, we're not gonna go in there. Locked. Unless he ran somewhere into the Sylph building. Oops, wrong thing. We gotta check the gym. Uh, great. What now? Was there supposed to be a text box there? Seems like someone's expecting us. Oh boy. Loud music again, hang on. Turn it down. Oopsie, hang on, what am I doing? Mmm, not sure I'm, is it, this is the exact same path I remember. Ah, there we go. I had to see it with my own eyes, but I still can't believe it. What are you talking about? About the fact that you're still alive. You are starting with that crap again? What does it actually mean? And how do you know my, that Giovanni's my father? I won't tell it to an amateur like you. I have to make things right. And what does that mean? Do you want to challenge me? Yeah, you can just say what happens to Henry if you kick him out, sure. Exactly. I have to get rid of you before you cause more damage. Oh. X and Y battle theme? Okay! It's about time. Alakazam. Okay, then. How am I gonna do this? Okay, Croc. Show her your real power. Great. 
damn it. Oh, this is great. This is fantastic, even. Now I'm confused. I don't think it's going to be possible to not take damage during this. Okay, he didn't take damage from my attack. I'm still confused. Okay, now I'm not. This is not fun! Okay, let's do this. That's another water gun that went right through him. I'm gonna have to spam healing items. This is like one of the last boss fights in the game, right? Damn it. Ah, damn it. Wasted it. He didn't turn in time. Come on. Damn it. Not good, not good, not good. Why am I walking? Come on. Oh! What? I... I can't turn anymore. I can only face downward. What happened? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay, he fixed it by hitting me. That's good. Just pausing, wait out the doubles. No, they still move. Is it wait? Okay, I can wait out the paralysis by doing that, though. Hang on. Oh, great. Not sure I can wait out the confu confusion like this, though. The menu didn't actually open that time. Ah, oh, damn it. Come on. Come on. I'll just have to use that Nurse Joy heal. It's hard to explain, but, like, I feel like my inputs are being interrupted in this fight now. Okay. I can't even, like, properly turn sometimes, because, like, it's like the doubles are interrupting that input. So I can't move the way I want. Well, that's great. Oh, you can still fire your projectile like that, huh? Whatever. Oh, dude. <laughs> okay. You get an, there's an extra battle you have to do if you kick Henry out. Okay. This can't be true. Probably just end up losing health if I do that. You don't deserve this victory, especially because you two aren't supposed to be here. Yeah, whatever. You lost the battle, and I want answers. How do you know me? Answers? <sighs> All right. If you really want to know what I saw... Yeah, maybe you should explain it instead of being annoying and mysterious. Like I said, you are not supposed to be alive anymore. I saw you in my vision in Vermilion City. You came off the ship. Uh-oh. That's Leon's death sound. But something else happened. You woke up earlier on the SSN, somehow. That's why you could join this boy that you met on the ship. The timeline changed so drastically that you're actually here now. Do you understand? I can't let it happen that our timeline gets wrong. That's why I wanted to prevent you to proceed, but... It's like someone manipulated the time. What are you even talking about? Why on earth would he accept this? That doesn't make any sense. And you really think I believe this bullshit? I heard a lot of weird stuff, but your story is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Believe it or not, but I know what I saw. I'm never wrong with such things. Aha. And now open the, the south entrance to Vermilion City. Chop chop. I still have things to do. Very well. The entrance is open again. You satisfied now? Why are you getting sassy with me, girl? Like, literally nothing you say is any is my problem whatsoever. Cut? <laughs> not yet. I could attack her. But no, we're not we're gonna be a good moment. Not yet. Get your Pokemon back into the ball. It seems to be exhausted. You are right. Alakazam, come back and rest. 
She just tried to murder me, but I'm the bad guy, yeah. Okay, now let's get out. South entrance is open, so what do you want? Well then, what I want is to get out of this place. Yeah, there we go. That Sylph CEO has the impulse device. Let's get it. Hope I'll find you soon, Father. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is literally the end of the game now, right? I think. Uh-oh. Hmm? Did y'all wait for me or what? What's wrong? Come on. Let it out. I think I'll start first. Drake. Richard just called us. He said he recognized you. Recognized you as a criminal. He found a profile of you in his documents. You're a Pokemon thief. And a member of Team Rocket. You were even the son of the infamous Giovanni. So you finally found out. Yep. It's true. But I'm not a goddamn member of Team Rocket. Still. Why didn't you tell us? Hey, people. Listen. I always wanted the best for you. Even if I don't want to admit. See, I did the good karma route, so I can be a good guy now. I took every danger on my back to help you in any way. I cleaned up the city, killed those undead, went through the underground cemetery, fought the damn Ariados that caused us a lot of trouble, checked the tracks where the train was supposed to be. Martin, I saved you and brought you here to the safe house. Yes, you're right. I owe you one. And I helped you reach Saffron City. I risked my life for you so everyone could make it through. That's true. Yes, you're absolutely right. He proved he is on our side. Even if you weren't always nice to us, you're right. And I have to thank you. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. No problem. I'm glad you understand. And he brought us the key to the unlock the soda machine. Yeah, sure. We weren't able to open it without Drake. The only decision I regret is that I couldn't save that old nice man, Charles. I could have saved him, and about the allegation, yes, I stole one single Pokemon. It is my Totodile you see here. I didn't steal it from a trainer, I got it from a Pokemon lab. I need it to find someone. I'm searching for my father, Giovanni, in Viridian City. I have to know what happened to him. I see. Starting to understand. Drake. It was wrong for... From, yeah, wrong from you to pull the wool over our eyes. But you had a reason, though. The reason we wouldn't lose faith in you. I'm so glad you told us everything. I think we... Uh, you can, we all want you to stay here. I know. Thank you, but I have to move forward, and we all respect that. Thanks, Myra. You are a good guy with a hard shell, but a soft core. And I like that. All right. Come to me if you want the impulse device. Okay. Well, that's that. Hey, you. It's the right thing to tell us the truth. Thank you. No problem. So, you are going to leave us soon. Yeah. I have to push myself forward. It means a lot to me. Pity. All right. Here, Drake. I promised you. You got the SI942P from Myra. You can open the Diglett's cave with this one. Martin said you have to put the device into the rubble and activate it. Perfect. Just perfect. Thank you, Myra. Oh, before I forget, I got something special for you. Just one moment. You got a Poke Gear, right? You got Myra's phone number. You can call me anytime. So, I'm not good with farewells, so, um, see you around. See you around. Oh, Drake, I was like, what? He's the son of Giovanni? We all have our cross to bear. Who said bear? You're probably right. Good luck with your journey. Hope you find your father. Just hope that everything is going to be normal again so I can travel through the world again. And have some jam sessions with my friend Dave in Goldenrod City. Ah, I knew it. Dave's friend. 
Hope he's doing fine. Now he's doing great. Drake. You saved my life twice. You helped me escape from the ship and helped me out with my arm. Thank you. Hello, Drake. Your journey goes on, huh? Take care. You should visit us again when this is all over. Hey, Drake. Thank you again for every effort. I won't forget you, buddy. Take care of yourself, you hear? Yeah, we should use that one free heal. Hello, Drake. I got enough supplies to heal your Pokemon one time. Looks like I hoarded all those items to not use them after all, but still. Never be too prepared for bullcrap. That, like, the two boss fights in this game, Alakazam... Well, I guess Raichu counts as well. Alakazam and Ariados were freaking painful. Cannot not die there. Ciao, Drake. I wish you good luck. Without you, I'd still be up there in Silphco. Gotta ask Myra for the impulse device. I gave it to her earlier. Yeah. Okay. But I still got a question, though. There was a huge infected Ariados in the cellar of Silphco. How could this happen? The cellar, you say? Hmm. I know our company was working on with some toxic liquids down there. We found some method to increase the size of insects. Maybe this Ariados came close to those toxics. I don't notice there was something in the cellar. But you did realize the earthquakes before, yeah? Yeah, of course. The cause was the Ariados? Exactly. Oh, wow. We should be more careful with things we produce. Yeah. Never mind. I killed it anyway. Okay, then. I knew that you got a good heart. You can reach anything with such a strong heart. Believe in yourself. Thanks, Drake. For everything you did for us. Don't change yourself, okay? Oh, Dr Okay, I talked to you already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good luck jamming with Dave. Oh, hi, Drake. You're still here? A little thought crossed my mind. Do you want to see a cool trick? Yeah, sure, why not? A okay, trick? Okay, why not? Okay. I hope this... St I still have the skills. Oh, -ho, look at me. I'm Drake. I'm a tough guy. You have to shiver with fear. Wow. That's pretty cool. When'd you learn that? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. I taught it to myself a long while ago. People have known me as the copycat. I copied every person that crossed my way. Those times are over. I lived here in this house with my parents back then. Naturally, before this was an office building. But they couldn't pay the installments anymore. The city government decided to buy this house and restructured it. Nobody recognizes me as copycat anymore. Probably because I dyed my hair to blonde, or simply because the people don't know me anymore. Maybe they just forgotten me. Hmm, pity. Think people should admire the talent you got there. You think so? Thanks. I'm pleased you like it. Okay. Make a save right there. And now it's time to head to the end. Alright, Croc. Let's go to the Diglett's Cave to reach Viridian City. We should be able to get rid of the rubble with that little gadget. We're soon in Viridian City. Heck yeah, let's go. We're going on a big, wholesome adventure. Yo, what's up, Richie? Hey, you. I know you told everything you know uh, about me to those people in Saffron. That's okay. I managed it decently. Ah, okay. Good to hear that. I was just worried that a wanted person was among us. What did you say? I just wanted to protect my people. Understood. Yeah, see ya. Drake probably just kills him if he got kicked out with bad karma. Okay. Y'all ready to go? Oh, great. There's more zombos. The storm is getting worse. The teddy's got nowhere to go. Let's go. Let's try this device. Pop it open. Finally, it's open. The prototype of this impulse device broke after using it, but I won't need it anymore. Let's go to Viridian City. Mount Moon theme. Some Diglitter here. Yeah, don't wonder. It's the Diglett's cave, after all. But they don't seem to be infected. Heck yeah! Happy mole friends are safe. Now let's just let them get out of the way.
Can't save yet. Locked. And anything this way? I guess this is the way to go. The morning sun is coming. We need this to open. Are you guys ready to see the end of this little adventure? Darn better be. You're darn tootin'. If I could just let the meter fill up so I could cut this again, that'd be fantastic. This truly is a Pokemon Dawn. The sun is rising. Dawn, he did, he said it! <laughs> I was joking. I was joking, but he said it. The sun is rising. Dawn is breaking. Don't think any of these buildings do anything. Yeah, you're not even allowed to, like, leave here, right? There's no reason I need to go this way. Yeah, you have to just go to the gym. Ugh, it's locked! What now? Hmm? My Pokegear is doing something. My Pokegear opened the door. Did my father know that I would come around? Is that the reason why he sent me the Pokegear? Hold up. What happens if I try and call Myra now? Will that work? Hey, Drake. You've reached Viridian City already? I'm so excited. Hope you find your answers. Take care. And keep me up to date. Well then. Gym looked different back then. Seems like the new gym leader rebuilt it. Come on, Croc. Let's examine this place. You think somebody's waiting for us down there? Nothing. There's absolutely nothing here. Nothing but this useless radio. Was this all for nothing? Doesn't he want to see me again? Oh no. Damn. We should... Huh? What is this? And now we're back. Ugh. What kind of bright flash was that? Yeah. Father? Is that you? Hello, my son. The text is going on its own at last. Where should I begin with? Do you know how much I did to find you? I know. You know. Sure. I observed you the whole time. Father, I got so many questions. Okay, then ask. Firstly, why did you vanish? Some say you have new plans for Team Rocket, but this isn't true, right? I'm done with Team Rocket for a long while. Those rumors are not true. Back then, this trainer from Pallet Town beat me in a battle. I noticed my actions were bad, and then I had to make this world a better place. And that's why you left me and my mother. Didn't you even think about what that we needed you at home as well? I'm so sorry. But I couldn't. Back then, I terminated Team Rocket, but there are still some people from Team Rocket left who cause a huge disaster. A disaster? You see this disaster in Vermilion City and Saffron City. You mean those infected? Yes, that's what I mean. Team Rocket has done this. Shit. How is that possible? Team Rocket stole an artifact. This artifact caused the disaster that happens in Johto and Kanto. I see. And you can't stop them. I can't stop them because this infection hasn't spread out yet. I think I can't follow you. 
I met a lot of infected tonight. Not really. You will meet some infected in three years. Three years? What are you talking about? The green Pokemon you saw earlier is the legendary Celebi. It has sent you back to the past exactly three years. Celebi can travel through time and actually slightly manipulate the timeline. What? The... So Sabrina was right. Someone changed the timeline. That was you? But that means... I was supposed to die in Vermilion City. Unfortunately, yes, but... I couldn't let you die. Because you're my son. But the most important thing is, you have a strong heart. You helped those people you met. And that makes me proud. That's why I wanted you to come here. Celebi activated the acoustic signal on the SSN so you would wake up on time. I think you know the rest of the story. Wow. Never heard of my father being proud of me. And... What now, Dad? If you want to know... I need your help. My help? You have to help me stop Team Rocket. I've seen you. You're strong enough. We could do it. But how? You have to go back. Back to the source, where everything has started. You have to go to Goldenrod City. The artifact was there. Everything started there. But... Goldenrod City is already doomed, isn't it? I'm sorry. But we have to say goodbye right away. <laughs> what? But... You gotta go back to the future, Drake. Believe me. You make me so proud, boy. We will... And we will see us eventually. March 11th, 2000. Ugh! Dot dot dot. Dad? D dad What the hell? I'm back in New Bark Town? My... My Pokegear says it's March 11th, 2000. Hey, Croc, do you hear... Rock. Dot dot dot. Oh. Crap. I understand. I'm back in New Bark Town at the point when I was gonna steal Croc from the lab. But this also means that the infection hasn't had happened. That's why my father sent me back? I could save so many lives. But... The police will hunt me if I'm going to steal Croc again. And nobody believes someone who stole a Pokémon. That means... I have to leave Croc. Damn it. Oh, I think it's gonna play. This is so hard. But I have to go to Goldenrod City. And warn the people. And stop Team Rocket. Yeah, this is a Pokemon remix. Ah, there we go. Pokemon Dawn. Look at that. Credits. Look at that. Look at all that, everybody. He said he couldn't go to Goldenrod at the start because he had, um, stolen Croc. That was the best ending, or the good karma ending. Oh, boy. Oh, I... It's breaking out into rock now. Let me just go ahead and mute this again to play it safe. No, that's okay. The only th other thing I want to be able to see minored is I just want to see the be able to play the neutral and the um the bad ending. It's playing a best of moment, a little real. Look at all that stuff. Resources. I think there's an extra S there. Look at that. I didn't do the first- I didn't do bad ending first time, did I? I don't think I did. Um, I know that in Pokemon Dusk, the neutral ending is apparently the one that's canon for the sequels, but I don't actually know which ending is canon for uh, this game. 
I'm assuming it's the good ending. Sounds, all these things. We're not quite done just yet. Look at all the music there. What about Clock Tower? I don't think any of these made that. Nope. The good ending is almost certainly the canon ending. Okay. Would Croc remember me? Special thanks, these people. Special thanks. And where's the part where it says, and you? I don't think you can find Henry after you uh, let him stay and then he kills Charles. Beats me. Official site? Oh, uh, I don't think that Facebook is active anymore. Remember the Facebook for Zargoth was uh, how I found out the Nightmare Invasion sequel just wasn't happening anymore. RPG stars. Now, is there anything extra after this, or does it go to the title screen? Oh, God. How did this happen? Once again, they're teasing Krista. What am I supposed to do now? Everything is lost. Shut up in there. We're not done with you yet. Uh-oh. Mean Team Rocket Grunt. You disappointed me all the years. Okay, this is different. I couldn't and didn't want you to find me. Drake, you have to admit you're a bad person. Yeah, this is the bad karma ending. You were a danger for those people you met. It's a shame being your father. What did you just say? Yes. I admit that I made some wrong decisions back then. But you are still the same bad person. Yeah, everything was the same up to this point. Now we're seeing the difference for the bad ending. And about that Team Rocket matter. Back then, I terminated Team Rocket, but there are still some people from Team Rocket. Left to cause a huge disaster. You have seen this disaster in Vermilion City and Saffron City. That was Team Rocket. And unfortunately, Mayan Sue. The people are suffering. But I managed to survive. This disaster was nothing to me. You see? Being a good person is for the weaks. And you've become a weak person, too. Dot, dot, dot. That reminds me of our last conversation a few years ago. Yeah? I thought you had changed. But you're lingering in a disgusting cave like a weak little bug. You're just incompetent. Incompetent. But I'm glad I found you, to say these words right to your face. Very well. Time to go now. Yeah, time to go, all right. I don't think so. Dot, dot, dot. And what does that mean? You can't get out of here. Because you aren't in the same place as before. Huh? You've been sent back in time. You traveled three years into the past. Three years back? What are you talking about? This green Pokemon you saw is the legendary Celebi. Dot, dot, dot. It has sent you back to the past. Celebi can travel through the time. It can actually slightly manipulate the timeline. What the? So this bitch Sabrina was right. Someone changed the timeline. That was you? But that means I was supposed to die in Vermilion. Yes, but I couldn't let you die. I saw you back then. I knew you would search me. But I hoped you, that you had changed. But your actions just prove that you are just scum. Nothing but scum. But you deserve to know the truth. Celebi activated the acoustic signal on the SSN so you would wake up on time. I think you know the rest of the story. You damn weak ass. I don't care what you're thinking about me. I showed everyone how strong I am. Nobody can mess with me. Nobody. Oh. Is that so? 
Yes, damn it. Drake, you are strong, but you made wrong decisions. That makes me actually sad. You survived because I helped you a lot. You would be dead otherwise. You never had any friends, and you will never have any friends. Even your Totodile has its doubts on you. Toto. Who needs friends anyway? I can take care of myself. So just shut up, yeah? Dot, dot, dot. I think this conversation is over. Great. And what now? Dot, dot, dot. We have to say goodbye right away. <laughs> what? Rock is just like, leave me out of this, please. I didn't do anything. You think you're strong and invincible? Then you have to face a situation you can't win. March 19th, 2000. Crap. Where am I now? Rock? Are you there? Uh oh. I have to run now. Yeah, you can't win. This is just what happens in the bad ending. Unfortunately, yes. But I couldn't let you die. Because you are my son. But everything you did was for your self-interest. I'm disappointed how selfish you become. Okay, ne neutral is still selfish then. But you deserve to know the truth. Celebi activated the acoustic signal on the SSN so you would wake up on time. I think you know the rest of the story. I... I... Disappointed my father? And... What now, Dad? You wanna know? It is hard to survive in a world that you have seen. Okay. And what does that mean? Drake. You are not strong enough to survive. I've seen you. You were just lucky. You need friends in a world like this. And you don't have any friends. Um, what? Who needs friends anyway? I can take care of myself. No. Drake, you are my son, and I want to protect you. I can't let you go out there. Death is waiting around the corner. What do you want? I'm sorry, but we have to say goodbye right away. <laughs> what? What's happening? Believe me, I always wanted the best for you. Maybe we will see us again. Uh, March 19th. What's going on now? Oh! Crap. What's going on here? Uh, where are we? Croc? Okay, this definitely isn't canon. The good ending has to be the canon one. Rock? He isn't here. Where the hell am I? Deprived of Croc, yeah. What the? Cinnabar Island? Uh-oh, my father brought me here to protect me? Because I'm too stupid without my Pokemon. How? How am I supposed to get off this island? Oh boy, have I got an explanation for you. I have to go back somehow. Nope, you're going nowhere. He stranded him on the island to protect him. That's the neutral ending, yeah. The artifact? Where is it now? This is different. Don't be worried. It's still there. Where? <laughs> it's well hidden. Uh-oh. Fan club? No one would ever think that the artifact is hidden in the Pokemon fan club in Vermilion. Oh. 
Okay, we have one more thing related to Pokemon Dawn to see. We've looked at all three endings. The neutral ending was very neutral, all right. Drake just stuck on an island. The good ending is definitely seems like it's the canon one, I hope. Now, we're going to hit New Game here. This is the Dusk Remaster. Yeah, bonus material. Pokemon Dawn Survivors. So this should be like an extra cutscene or something. So let's see what this is in perfection. Weird that it's in the Dusk Remaster, but... But, are you sure you want to go outside? The outside isn't as safe as it used to be. Dot, dot, dot. We gotta do something. We just have to go outside and find supplies. All of our lives depend on it. Or do you want us to starve to death in here? I'm not gonna die in here. Besides that, Henry has us with him as well. We're not letting anyone get hurt. This must be the Michael and Dennis characters. Yes, exactly. We'll keep an eye on each other. Well, okay. But please, be careful. We've already lost too many people out there. Of course. Now, what is this? Hope it's only a handful of minutes, because I don't know if it's like an hour or so. I know a place where we can just take the supplies. Let's get moving. All right, I'm in. This is where they went to rob Lucas, I guess. Henry, is this axe really necessary? Shh, of course. How else are we going to smash the window? Besides that, what else can we use when an undead finds us? Just saying. Don't piss yourself, Michael. Everything will go smoothly. Ah, oh, all right. Just play your role, got it? Yeah. And now move your ass. Just gonna break into Lucas's house. Golly gee whiz. What? Who are you? What? Why? Doesn't matter who we are. We want your supplies, nothing more. And we'll leave you alone after that, I promise. <laughs> Please listen to them, to them, kid. Yeah, kid, listen to us. You better give us all you have. Don't fool a guy with an axe. That's just common sense. Uh, okay. Just take everything you want. But, but please don't hurt me. Hmm. Just some food cans and instant meals. Not a lot. You got something else you're trying to hide from us? No. No. I... I'm not hiding anything. I promise. All this text plays on its own, by the way. So we came here just for food cans? You kidding me? How is that his problem? I don't have much more than that. Hmm. Oh, for poop's sake. Guys, take what we found. I will... Take care of this little pisser. Take care of him. What'd he do? But... Move your ass. Dot, dot, dot. All right. Ow. Dude, just punching him for no reason? <laughs> God, what a piece of crap. Wish I threw him out sooner. That's a lot of punch sounds to play, play through. Yeah, it seems like this is all just a cutscene. Was that really necessary? I mean, that poor kid had almost nothing. Beating him up was just wrong. What's this music? Nah, he deserved it. There's a laughable amount of food. I'm sure he was hiding something from us. He certainly did not. We turned his whole house inside out. That doesn't matter now. Kid got beaten up and that's it. What do you want from me now? 
promise that we won't do something like that ever again. Supplies, whatever. We can't just steal from other people and beat them up. I refuse to help you with that. Grr. I'm angry guy. All right. You insist, and we're not doing that again. Yeah. Yeah, you're not gonna do that. Okay. Now we need to find another way of getting the supplies we need. Maybe in the Pokemart over in Saffron? From time to time, they also have some things that are edible from human for yeah, humans. That's the only place I can think of. As long as nobody gets hurt. I'm just gonna ignore the zombies behind him. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Hey, you see a zombie over there? Um, yeah? What a psycho. What are you doing? I can't swim. Let me out of the water! Please! Someone like you is no use. You try to get back on land, I'll chop you into pieces with my axe. I don't think you'd like that. You stay in there. You... You piece of crap! What is wrong with this dude? Oh, hell, dude. I thought you just wanted to teach him a lesson. Ha! Huh. This guy was good for nothing anyway. You want to join him? No. Yeah. No. It's fine. You're right. So do we go to the Pokemart now? Yeah. I'm ready. Let's go. Perfect. The marked door is almost cracked. Ugh, I hit my freaking foot off the table there. Ugh, I'm good. Careful, a zombie. Don't worry. The monster's as good as dead. Still can't believe that we can also become like those monsters. Nonsense. It won't. None of these beasts will ever get close to me. Ugh. We should hurry up a bit. This is one of the few marts that has a security system. Turns on after a couple of minutes. The door will be locked afterwards. Back then, my gang and I burgled, uh, burgled markets. Blah. I know a lot of them about being locked in here. Well, I don't know. Not the most ideal solution, if you ask me. Yeah, yeah. Just collect all the stuff and get out of here. There's another living dead over there. It looks inactive. And I think I saw an undead Zubat hanging from the ceiling. Heck it. We are out of here in no time. Yeah. 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 What do we have here? Dot, dot, dot. What's he doing? Hey, what's the deal? What are you writing so quickly? What'd you write in that note? What do I have to read here? Henry murdered Michael. We need to get rid of him. Do you want to give this note to one of our people in secret? So they could find out what happened to Michael. Did you want to do that, Dennis? No, 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 calm down. I just wanted to. My name's Henry. I'm unlikable. I deserve to die. This note. Nobody can see it. I'll just tear that note off. It would lead to trouble if someone would find it. Was I able to find that? Because I didn't. Even if it's unlikely, whatever. I'll get rid of it later. I don't think I noticed it. Nobody will find out what happened here. 
I can leave the dead body here. I'm sure nobody can find it once the door is locked. I'll hide the bloody axe for now. Way too suspicious. Oh. Poor Michael. Poor Dennis. Now I have to tell Myra that the undead got you two. Ah, screw it. Nobody should question it when I bring the supplies. Time to get out of here. Is that all this is? Just how Henry was unlikable? Dot, dot, dot. Oh. The note. He is dangerous. Kill that B-H. I didn't open the Saffron Mart. That's right. This is the Saffron Mart, not the, um, the Vermilion one. Okay, then. I guess that explains a thing that I didn't get to see. Okay, so that was like a small bonus scene that was included with the uh, Dusk Remaster. As you can see there. And that's pretty much the end of, uh, Pokemon of the Pokemon Dawn playthrough. That was pretty long, but I had a good time with it. Um, uh, what else can I really say here? It was definitely much smoother to really play with a controller, but going back to it, I could definitely feel like the jankiness to the play, like playing it for sure. The, I felt like all of the boss fights were like, I couldn't even really get through them as easily as the Dusk ones, like by a mile. Some of them were just like, I don't even think you could avoid damage technically. In the end, I did end up hoarding all of my heal items like, a bit excessively, didn't I? I made good use of the Nurse Joy heals, though, so that worked out pretty well. I feel like it's way too late in the game to even bother with the Expert Belt. Like, a little extra damage on it, but eh, whatever. I think it worked out fine. It was a good thing that I hoarded some heals anyway, because things could get really bad in the Alakazam fight, I would say. But I hope you all enjoyed this. This has been another super, super duper long playthrough of a spooky game. Hopefully I can get this edited and rendered tomorrow. Um, There's more games in this series to check out. We will probably try and do that this season if we can. But I hope you all had a good time. If you're watching on YouTube, look forward to more. Have a good night and bye-bye.